thing is that I just sent it to you. Assalamu alaikum, um, dear community members. Thank you for joining um, the Mass SSF uh, immigration, uh, immigration session tonight. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started um, a so in a few minutes. As soon as um, uh, our community members join us, just give please um, uh, give us a few minutes and we'll get started in about two minutes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right, um, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, again, assalamu alaikum. Um, my name is Gulshan Yusufzai. I'm the executive director with <clears throat> Mass SSF, um, otherwise known as the Muslim American Society Social Services Foundation. I wanna thank um, our community members, our Afghan brothers and sisters for joining tonight. Uh, this is uh, our uh, second of our uh, weekly sessions. Uh, inshallah, we'll continue to have these every week to bring you the most updated information. Uh, last week, we um, we had our first session and it was quite successful. And this week, um, we are uh, partnering with um, other Muslim uh, nonprofits to bring you more information, more support, um, and to, to um, support you with um, all your needs. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start. With introductions, um, if I could go ahead and have uh, the Mass SSF staff introduce themselves, please. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Basit Chaudhary. I'm the administrative assistant at Mass SSF. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Masood Saqib, and I'm the program coordinator with Mass SSF. Thank you. Uh, good evening. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Vice Saria. I am the program coordinator with Mass SSF. Thank you. And if we could move on to Dr. Amir Khta. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Amira, and I am the vice president for business development at Reda Center. Reda stands for Refugee Enrichment and Development Association. Um, and I will be happy to uh, be with you today. Thank you. And then let's go ahead and move on to Abbasim al Kara and the rest of the staff from CARE. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Abbasim al Kara, Executive Director, CARE Council on American Islamic Relations, Sacramento Valley, Central California. Thank you, Abbasim. Lily? So next, uh, assalamu alaikum. My name is Lady Sharani. I am the senior attorney for civil rights at CARE Sacramento Valley in Central California. Mona. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. My name is Mona Siddiqui, and I'm the new immigrant rights attorney at CARE Sacramento Valley in Central California. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you, Reda. Thank you, Kara, for joining MASF and providing a platform where our Afghan brothers and sisters could um, join on a weekly uh, uh, on a weekly basis to ask uh, questions that, that they have or uh, express any needs. Um, and um, uh, so, I appreciate each of you being here and collaborating with MASF uh, to provide support. Uh, during this very challenging time. And to my Afghan brother and sisters, um, you know, uh, being an Afghan myself, I, I, I could of course completely relate and 
um, all our staff here as well in terms of uh, the turmoil and the uh, atrocities that are that have occurred um, and, and continuing on um, over 40 years of oppression and uh, uh, war in our country. Uh, I know that none of us were prepared to, to have another era of poverty and turmoil in our country. And unfortunately, this is where we are, but inshallah together um, while you uh, reside, uh, if you are residing in the US or if you're calling from anywhere outside of the US, I um, whole, wholeheartedly just wanna let you know we're here for you um, as mass staff. But then at the same time, um, I know that um, as we work with uh, federal, state, county and local, um, government entities um, uh, we they have expressed absolute support um, for the Afghan community and they're working uh, diligently to, to provide support um, and, and be there for the Afghan community and I can vouch for that uh, as well as of course our Muslim um, nonprofits like CARE and Reda and all the mosques um, for many of you who don't know they're uh, 24, I believe, in, in Sacramento and surrounding Sacramento. And we all work together. And so inshallah, to, uh, we'll be able to get through this um, and provide you whatever needs you have. Uh, if nothing else, at least be here to listen to you and um, lend a, a, a supporting ear. Um, so again, um, thank you for being here. And we look forward to hearing you tonight. Uh, we have the option today to have you unmute yourself and voice, um, you know, uh, ask your questions or voice, voice your opinions about what's happening, what's going on with you. Um, and we'll be doing that later in the session. Uh, what we're going to do tonight um, uh, is first, uh, I'll, I'll, I would love for uh, Dr. Mira and Bassam to talk about uh, what Reda and Kara are doing uh, for the Afghan community. Um, and then soon after that, we're going to go ahead and open it up for questions and answers. And at that point, um, uh, you know, you'll be able to, for majority of time tonight, we'll have uh, that session where you can go ahead and ask your questions and express your, what you're feeling. Um, so with that, I want to go ahead and um, ask Dr. Mir to um, talk about uh, what Reda is doing for our community. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gulshan. I am going to do a brief introduction about what Reda is um, offering to the community, because I know that many of you have so many questions and cannot wait for the question and answer section. So I'm just gonna be quick and brief. Um, so the two ways where we can um, support Afghan community are two main ones. Uh, we have uh, the first one, which is uh, the Emergency Housing Initiative. This is an initiative that RIDA has recently launched in order to create a centralized database uh, that has all uh, housing options available for uh, Afghan evacuees. And uh, we, we have made this um, database available uh, to any refugee resettlement agency that would like to get access to this um, information and provide it to families um, you know, who, who are interested in, in finding a temporary housing uh, until they find something uh, more permanent. So uh, if you actually have, if you are available to be one of the hosting families, you can always complete this form and let us know. Uh, or if you are sponsoring a family member and would like to get access to this database, you can either contact one of the refugee asylum agencies or uh, just um, get in, in, in touch with us uh, at Rida and uh, at the end of my presentation, I'm going to put the link for this uh, housing initiative, as well as how to contact us at Reda. So I'm going to give a brief uh, opportunity for the translator to translate this part, and then I'm going to do the second part. Masood, if you could go first, please. You're on mute. Thank you very much. Uh... Tashakur uh, Bisar Ziat, Esmeshan Amira Kotebas, Wa Moene Daftare Radastan, 
در بخش مهاجرت کار میکنن و یا معمولا بخشای که تمپرالی هاوزنگ یا خانه های موقت برای ماجرین که به امریکا می آید تحیه می کنند همچنان لینک که او یک دتابیز یک دتابیز معلوماتی از کسان که ضرورت داره براتان در بخش چت شیر میکنه یا تخت میگذاره که شما در اونجا میتونین که ثبت نام بکنین و بتونین از این خانه های موقتی استفاده بکنین همچنان همچنان کسایی که تازه جدید میاین اسپانسر شدن و ضرورت به کمک دارن میتونن که بایشون به تماس شدن تشکر زمان نوم همایرا کاتب ده زد رادا دفتر ماون پایس وظیفه لرم اما دنده په دغه دفتر کې داده چې کله چې دغه نوی ماجرین یو اس ترازی یا امریکې ترازی مونږ دفتر موقتی کور او د کور وسایل هغه ته آماده کوي تر څو چې هغه وکولای سي چې بیا ورسته خپل نارمل یا معمول جان ونیسي او بل خبره په دې کې ده چې اومایرا کاتب وویل چې زه په دغه چتروم کې تاسو ته یو لینک را لېږمه چې هلته د ټول ټول معلوماتونه یسته که تاسو ته ضرورت وي یا چېرته نه وي راته کسان ته چې امریکې ته راغلي د هغه ته ضرورت وي هغوی کولی سي چې د هغه لینک له لارې نه معلومات را واخلي او خپل فامیل سره یا دوستان سره شریکه کی که چیر تا سوک ضرورت لری داغان استفاده با بوکی دیره منه نم موسیقی Uh, and this service center uh, can offer translation services if there's anything in your documents that you need um, help understanding. Uh, we also offer through this center uh, emergency financial assistance for a specific case. Uh, you can submit an application for that, um, for that objective and uh, we can assess whether uh, or not we can, uh, you are eligible to it. Uh, we also offer help Um, in applying for governmental services, including um, DHA uh, or other benefits related to um, government services. Uh, and then uh, help in um, submitting job, job application or college scholarship applications or uh, reduced utilities. Um, and in addition to that as well, because we know that all that can weigh on your our mental health and emotional well-being while you are submitting this uh, this request for assistance we also try to screen how uh, the extent to which these stressors are affecting your well-being and if we feel that it's it's affecting it to an alarming degree then uh, we we are able to refer you to um, culturally and linguistically sensitive providers. One of them, of course, is um, our dear uh, Mass SSF, the peer counselors at Mass SSF. And then also if we feel that the case is, um, you know, requires deeper attention, attention and more intensive uh, care in terms of mental health, then we uh, refer it to um, other types of providers as well. And uh, the link to Reda Service Center is also going to be sent. I'm going to send it in the chat box in case you'd like to get in touch with us. 
Ben bir yerine sıkıyorum. تشکر بسیار زیاد باز هم اضافه کردن که بعضی خدمات دیگه هم داره دفتر ردا مثلا مرکز خدمات که در بخش ترجمه امرای افغان ها کمک میکنه همچنان در بخش کمک های مالی قرضدیهی کمک میکنه که شما اپلیکیشن تان خانه پری میکنین و از این کمک ها درخواستی میکنین به این کمک ها درخواستی میتین همچنان بخش سیهی دارن که شما میتونین از این بخش سیهی از یام استفاده بکنین همچنان کمک میکنه دفتر رادا یا همین مرکز خدماتشان که شما را کمک کنه ببره به دوایر دولتی که ضرورت کسایی که جدید میاین از مثل دیچه مثل بعض دفاتر دیگه همچنان دفتر رادا در بخش کمک های در بخش درخواستی هم با شما کمک میکنه که شما یک وظیفه مناسب پیدا بکنین در قسمت ساختن درخواستی شما کمک میکنه همچنان زمان که شما درخواستی میتین و میخواین که از این برنامه مستفید شوین در قسمت تکالیف روحی هم کمک میکنه و میبینه که اگر مشکل روحی داشته باشین که شما کمک میکنه که با اگر جدی باشه و با دکترها رفیر میکنه یا انتقال میته که کمک تان کنه در غیر از او اگر سطی باشه میشه که خودشان و همکارهای دیگه که در دفترها هستن براتان کمک میکنه تشکر او ام. خیلی تر رفرالز برای ما هم روان می کنند که از خاطر ما امی منتل هلت سرویسز از پنج زبان پرفارم می کنیم تنها برای دری و پشتونه مگم اردو و عربی سو خیلی تر رفرالز از ریده از کانتی مکتبا برای محس صرف هم روان می و ما می تانیم که هم رایتان گپ بزنیم او وقت بخ خودتان چوز می کنین که هم رای کدوم کانسلر گپ بزنین اگر به پشتو و به دری یا به کدام زبان مگم آسو هم رای که اگر زن باشه مرد باشه به او چویسی خودتان است و ایرا ما هم رای ریدا بسیار نزدیک کار می کنین هم رای شام تشکر سلامت باشین گلشن جان و مسعود برادر میشه که بپرسیم بعض سوالات در چت روم آمده او را همی فلحال جواب بتیم یا منتظر باشیم در اخیر نو بخیر این بار فیلم وقتی که جوتکش خلاص شد بازورم کوشن آن را بایدان سمی کنیم من میخوایم این بخش هم دوباره و پشتو ترجمه کنم زقوال ما بیا یو زر بیا دقا متن چه مون امکال دفعا فارسی که ترجمه سو پشتو که تست و بایم اموما امون گمکار رو میرا کاتب در رادا دفتر نه یو زلبیا ویویل چه مونگ نور خدمات هم لرو اخبال دفتر که آقا مالی او اقتصادی کمکو نده چه کسوک مالی او اقتصادی استونزی لری که ولیسی چه مونگ سر تماس خونیسی فرز مثال قرزه بخشده یا دولتی کمکو نده چه دقا فوتستم ده یا بل شاین چه ده که ولیسی چه تاسو سر مرسته و که چه آقای کمکونه تاسو مستفید است که تاسو استونز لری چه سرنگ اخبال درخواست را ولی که یا آقای نه پختین و که دقا دفتر که ولی چه تاسو سر کمک و که پا دقا بخش که او بل خبره اکس سوک والی چه کالش تا یا دقا نو تعلیمی یا تربیتی پروگرامون نه استفاده و که ای دوی دفتر که ولی چه تاسو سر مرسته و که پرسونل لری چه تاسو درخواستی یا تاسو رنمایی و که او تاست رایگان اسکالرشیپونه اونیسی بل خبر چه مونگ امکار همیرا کاتب اشاره و کل آقا داده چه کسوک روانی استونزی لری آقوی کولیسی چه تاسو سر ده محسس صف په همکاری که همکاری سر تاست رایگان خدمات ارائه که چه محسس صف په پینزه جبه که 
کولسی چه خپل خدمات تاست ارزه و که او مسلکی مشاورین یا روانشناسان آقوی سر استه که هلتا استاس استونزه یا مشکلات حل نسو بیا آقوی کولسی چه تاسو بلز چیرته رجعت یا ریفر کی چه تاسو در خدمات نمستفید سی من اینا اخبار سوالون زن سر نوت که بیا پس سال آخر استاد تول سوالونه که زاب در کو. مشکل وایس. Okay. Amira, anything else you want to share? No, well, thank you so much, Gulshan. Thank you for being here. And Amira, I'm a do link at the chat that I don't post that. So please, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about the services that I offer. OK, so let's go ahead and move on to Karen now. Let me just add this issue for them about the link, because they should note that. Sure, go ahead. Thank you for having me on the chat room. I'm going to talk about the link and I'm going to talk about the link. در آدا دفتر نه چه اتاسو نه ایر نسی او ده غلنگ دیر معلوماتی لنگ ده طول غط دیتابیس ده که ولیسی چه اقوی سر تماس و نیسی یا ده غن امبر چه پا چطرون که ده زن سر یادش که که ولیسی چه تاسو پا مناسب وقت که راده دفتر سر تماس و نیسی میشه مسئول در آدا شما فارسیون ترجمه کنیم بله لنک های که در چطروم یا در پیام برای شما گذاشته شده میتونین که با او لنک ها برین و درخواستی هایی تانه برای رادا روان بکنین دفتر رادا و همچنان شما را تلفن اونجا گذاشته شده که میتونین با او هم تماس بگیرین و از خدمات شما مستفید شدید تنکیم تشکر اوکی سو لیتس گو هید و موو آن تو باسم الکارا، the executive director of care، um, to give an overview of uh, what they do and how does they support the Afghan community. Basim. Salam alaikum everyone. Um, first, I want to start um, by thanking uh, our dear sister Gulshan Yusufzai um, for inviting us and Mass SSF for the amazing work that they do. Um, it's an organization that we always we refer to uh, for mental health services for so much that they do. So we want to thank you. Um, CARE Council on American Islamic Relations is a civil rights and advocacy organization. Uh, we work to protect, defend, and empower the American Muslim community. Um, we're a civil rights and advocacy organization. Uh, for, we have a civil rights department. Um, Laila Sharani is our senior uh, civil rights attorney, where she works on employment, uh, employment discrimination, um, housing discrimination. And she'll kind of talk more uh, later on about, in detail about the work that her department does. Um, we also have an immigrant rights center. Uh, that we launched in 2017, and many of our clients are from the Afghan community. Uh, Muna Siddiqui um, is running uh, the Immigrant Rights Center, uh, where we do um, green cards, um, citizen naturalization for citizenship, uh, free of charge. So, um, inshallah, we'll, uh, our attorneys will talk more about uh, those services. Uh, we do government relations. Uh, we have a full-time staff member at State Capitol, who actually used to work at the State Capitol, and, um, and represents uh, the American Muslim community in California, lobbying on our behalf for legislation, helping come up to draft legislation. Um, and I'll stop there for the translation, and then I'll give a story about um, one of our clients. Thank uh, you very much. آقای باسم از دفتر مسلسف سپاسگزاری کردن به خاطر خدماتی که در بخش ساعت روانی کار میکنن همچنان افزودن که دفتر کر در بخش امایت و امایت و دفاع از حقوق جامعه مسلمان ها در امریکا در ساکرمنتو کالیفرنیا دفاع میکنن و همچنان یا یک برنامه یک مرکز امیگریشن رایت یا حقوق پناهندگان دارن که در این بخش همکارشان لیلی شرینی کار میکنه و مسئولش هستند که یا در بخش گرین کارت و همو اسناد لازمه که برتان ضرورت است 
و همچنان بخش های سیتیزنشیب یا وقتی که زمان پاسپورت میگیرین پاسپورت امریکایی یا کارت سبز با شما کمک میکنه همچنان در ای دفتر کر یک بخش گورمنت ریلیشنز داره که ارتباط با دولت است که ای هم فعالیت بسیار گسترده داره و میتونه که امی کمیونیتی امی جامعه مسلمان ها را در ایالت کمک بکنه سلام علیکم باسم یو زلگی خل طرف در محسس فلسف دفتر نه قدردانی و کل او منه نه او کل بیا ویل چه مونگ دفتر کیر پا کالفرونیا یا سکرمنتو که زین فالیتون لری چه کل کس حکو والی چه نشرالایزیشن یا خل گرین سیتیزنشی با واقعی اخوی سر رایگان مرسته که ای او بل دوغوی امکار چه ده پا بل بخشو که مونگ سر تاسو سر کولیسی چه کمک و که از اکر دولت سرم زین امکاری لری او کولیسی چه بس کمکونه که تاسو به ضرورتی اغوی کولیسی چه تاسو تا به فراهم و که And um, and also um, something to note about CARE. Actually, many of our key leaders in the organization are Afghan Americans, um, from presidents um, to executive directors, uh, many uh, amazing female leaders um, in the organization. Um, our, one of our national board members is uh, Afghan. He used to be the chair of CARE California and has been an amazing leader um, in CARE, in the American Muslim community, and in the Afghan community. And that's uh, Masood Nassimi. تشکر بسیار زیاد باز هم افزودن که درباره کر معلومات جامعه تر ارائه کردن که در بخش های مختلف دفتر کر افغان هایی که افغان های امریکایی هستند مثلا در بخش پرزیدنت یا رئیس دفترشان افغان امریکایی است در بخش Executive Director یا آمر اجرایویشان امریکایی از در بوردشان هم What was the name? I forget مسود نسیمی مسود نسیمی امکار امنام امام است مسود نسیمی یکی از رهبرهای خوب در این دفتر خدمت میکنه که یعنی عدفشان دفتر خودتان است و میتونین به تماس شدید تشکر بلخبر چی مونگم کار باسم ویویل ویداد خوشبختی زایده چی مونگ دفتر بیشتر کسان آقا کسان ده چه افغان امریکان ده چه فیصله هم افغان ده و او هم ده امریکا سیتیزنشیپ یا طبیعت لری ده رئیس ننیوالی تر آقا رئیس اجرایه پوری او بورد اف دایرکتر چه ورطوایو آقا کسان او رئیس پاناما مسود نسیمی ده چه آقا میو افغانی ده چه اصلا افغانی ده و ده امریکا طبیعت لری او دوی دیر خوشحاله ده چه بیشتر کسان دوی دفتر که افغانان کار کهی و او افغانان و مسلمانان جامعه تر خدمات کهی So earlier I was mentioning about government relations and I was going to mention a story. So um, we had a case where a 10 year old um, Afghan American girl uh, was getting bullied at school. So our attorneys handled the case, um, corresponded with the school, uh, addressed the issue with the school. And then we asked uh, this young, uh, young lady, 10 years old, um, at that time our government relations team was working on a bill, um, a Islamophobia bill um, addressing Muslim youth in California. So we, we asked this young Afghan American um, sister if she can come to the state capitol and testify um, about her experience. And she came to the capitol, she testified in the assembly, in the Senate, and, and helped pass this bill and had elected officials in tears uh, with, a, with her powerful story. Um, so young people as, as young as 10 years old um, you know, from our community have made a huge difference, not only for the lives of just Muslim youth and Afghan youth, but many youth, uh, millions of youth in, in, in California. Uh, uh, you mentioned 10 years old uh, sister uh, at school. What, what happened to her, sorry? Zainab, uh, she, yeah. She was getting bullied. Um, she was getting bullied because she's Muslim, because she's Afghan. And so 
we should, the FM reached out through our civil rights department, but then you know we were working on a bill, uh, Islamophobia bill uh, tar- uh, for Muslim youth and Sikh youth in, in California. So we asked her to testify, to come to the state capitol and to speak about her experience. And this 10 year old Afghan sister did that and helped pass this bill. It passed through the assembly, through the Senate, and then it was signed by the governor. And, um, you know, and just uh, to show you someone at 10 years old making a huge difference for millions of youth um, in California. Thank you. تشکر باز هم افزودن که در بخش government relations یا ارتباط با دولت ما یک سرگذشت یا قصه از یک دختر ده ساله را کرد که با هم یک جا شدن یک پارچه شدن و در قسمت حقوقشان کار کردند و ای ما ازش تقاضا کردیم که بیاین به استیت اسمبلی یا در امی پارلمان ولایت صحبت بکنه درباره امی یک پارچگیشان و یا صحبت کردن در پارلمان و بالاخره در پارلمان همگی عشق ریختن و از ای دختر ده ساله حمایت کردن که بالاخره پس شد امی رایت یا بلک است پس شد یا قبول شد و ای به امضای والی صاحب کالیفرنیا را و او هم امضا کردن و تا ای که یک پارچگی از یا اف شو و همی خواهر ده ساله ما یک تغییر بسیار بزرگ در کمیونیتی افغان ها و مسلمان ها ایجاد کردند که باعث افتخار همه ما است بل خبره چې مونږ هم کار با سیمویل مونږ یو خورکه لس کلنه و چې کله چې هغه مکتب ته تللی و از ځینې تعصبات سره مخامخ شوی و او باید له هغه نه د دوی دفتر چې همکاري دولت سره لري دغه امکانات ورته برابر کړه چې دا لس کلنه انجلی لاړ شي هغه د محلی یا ولایتی یا په استیت په سطح چې هغه پارلمان ده یا سنا ورته وایي هر شی چې ورته وایو هلته لالل بیا خپل خبرې وکړل او هلته ډېر کسان په جلا سو دا ډېر یو په اصطلاح تاثیر ګذاره خبرې وکړل باید له هغه نه د هغه د هغه استیت یا ولایتی دفتر رئیس یو فرمان یا په اصطلاح یو وصول یا پالیسی را وتکل چې باطل دی نه چرته باید تصبات به نه دغه لس کلنه خورکی نه یوازې ځان ته په اصطلاح کومک وکړل تقریبا میلیون میلیون نور کسان یا ماجرین چې هغوی سره سناسه تصبات و هغوی سره مرسته وسو او یو پارچگی یا یوال طول و زوانان و تا یا طول نوزوانان تا ست پا اصطلاح افس و آقوی دخپل حقوق نبار خوردار است و And I'll end with, uh, with this um, um, we, also, we do youth empowerment programs so we have um, um, youth programs for our youth um, so for the parents out there I encourage you to come and intern volunteer we have the muslim youth live program the muslim youth leadership intensive to help the youth um to be to to help them in in, in their high school careers um we we help support them to get into top universities um so please connect with us uh, for youth leadership and um i pl- i posted um i and i'll post it on facebook shortly I posted a, um, a resource page, which you'll, you'll find out about our different organizations, uh, Mass SSF, CARE, and then you can go directly to their website. Um, and, o- and also to, to connect with us on our Im- uh, if you need immigration support. Um, also, we're hiring um, an outreach coordinator. Um, it's a part-time position uh, that hopefully will lead to a full-time position, uh, someone that speaks Pashto and Dari, um, and that will um, support outreach and also support our legal, t- our legal team as well. Uh, so we hope uh, we'll get some good candidates um, that are listening um, today. Uh, thank you so much. Tashakar bisyar ziyat. Baz ham afzudan yak barname dige shana ke guf baima 
اختتام بخشم صحبت های خوده بخش توان، توانمندی یا توان توانمندی جوانا است برنامه توانمندی جوانا که در اینجا میتونه تمام جوانایی که چی در سطح مکاتب است در پانتونا است یا در بخش کالج ها است میتونن که امکار از یا شون یا بخش های رضاکار هم دارن که میتونن از اونجا شروع کنن توانمندی شانه و بالا برن و همچنان افزودن که یک امان کننده برنامه در دفترشان ضرورت دارن که شخصی که دری و پشتو خوب تر صحبت بکنن میخواین استخدام بکنن که ایره هم اعلام کردن و یک چانس بسیار خوب است اگر چی پارت تایم یا نیم وقت است باز هم یک چانس بسیار خوب است که میتونه در با در بخش حقوق و و مهاجرت کمک زیاد با مهاجرین عزیز داشته باشن میتونین که با ما در تماس شوین و با ما به پیواندین همچنان گفتن که در وبسایت ما است و در وبسایت محسس صف و همکاران دیگه شان هم نشر میکنن این اعلان وزیفه رو تشکر اگر سوال برای کری رده اگر داشته باشین میتونین که ما را ایمیل کنین یا تلفن کنین ستاف ما از پنج زبان گپ زر میتونه رو میتونه که شما رو کنکت کنم با ایشان این باست اگر شما رو پید ار فون نمبر این ایمیل این در چرد بیس آید وای منه نه باسی مویل چه دقیقه جمله سر از اخفل خبر لنده اوما او ختم کوما ده ده مسیج سره یا پایام سره دوی ویل چه مونگ زوانانو تا دا خواندی تو پروگرامون لرو که آقا زوانان یا نوزانان که در کالیچ یا مکتبون بایی یا بل چیرتا زوانان استا مونگ سره کولیسی چه تماس کنیسی زین برنامه خواندی تو برنامه ده جوان لپاره لکه ترینینگونه ده یا زین نور مثبت برنامه آقای سر استا چه خصوصا زوانان و لپاره یا نوزانان و لپاره ده او تاسو کوله چه تا آقا برنامه نه مستفید سی او مونگ سره تماس کنیسی در برنامه طول رایگان ده یا کم افیس چشای نلری او بل خبره چه دا باسی مویل دوی یو کارمند تا هم ضرورت لری آقا پارت تایم یا نیم روزه ده که دسی وایی چه هر روز نست آقا وزیفه خب بیام که سوگ وادی چه آقا بخش کار و که زوانان و لپاره ده یا نو زوانان و لپاره ده تا سکوالش چه امون دفتر سره یا محسس صف دفتر سره تماس کنیستی او اخبال درخواستی مون تر را ولیگی آخر که بیا گلشن در اجرای رئیس در محسس صف ویل چه مون کوالش چه تا سو تا معلومات پا پینزه جبه که پراهم کو او امون تلفون نمبر او ایمیل آترس آقا چطروم که استه یا مستیج پا بخش که استه که تاسو ضرورت داری چه در خواندی تو برنامه نه مستفید سی یا خوالی چه آقا وظیفه لپاره درخواست به راولی گی که ولی سی چه مستصف صف سر تماس کنیسی او مونگ در امکانات تاسته فرام که او منه نه تشکر ویس تینکیو اگین امیره و باسم فور پروائیدنگ در سپورت فور در کمینیتی و از بالا از بین کار ای نو دات وی We have lots of questions and a little bit of time left. So I'm going to give a very quick, quick overview of MassF and I'll try to do it in Dari so Masood can um, skip it. And then uh, Weiss could um, go ahead and translate in Pashto and then we'll go right into the questions. Uh, Weiss, yes. Uh, Jan, uh, can we escape because there is no Pashto speaker so far it looks in the chat room okay. because of uh, Uh, time limitation if we skip Pashto part only we keep daddy uh, if it's still someone because I wrote in a chat room uh, is there anyone to speak Pashto I do not receive any response and I re we received all messages in English and Farsi not in Pashto uh, so let's do this because we have people from Facebook as well and we just want to be inclusive of both languages so when I talk about Masaf and uh, daddy You could do that in Pashto, but then moving forward, if there's a question in Dari, we answered in Dari. If there is any questions in Pashto, 
respectfully we answered in question. Sure, uh, sure. But as you said, there is not that many, but definitely we want to be respectful of both languages and be inclusive. Um, all right, so let me just quickly do this with my uh, really bad daddy. Um, so, Mas SSF, Bari Chordasol, Mrai Kimidi Musulmano Kar Mekona Barashan, Program Major Kadan, Pinch Program Ki Family Diak Joini Akonan, Awal Program Ma, it's a counseling program, Mas Shashto Ash Nafaras Kim. Community train for them, um, the mental health uh, training us. Ke amritan komakuna. Khubi azi is ke ami shasta ash nafar ki train shuda. Pine zuban agab zamitan actually up to da zuban. Magam pine zuban ama focus mekinim khas khater khiltar population da mu zuban da population the Sacramento us. So of course dari pashto urdu Arabic. Um, and خوبی دیگه ای است که می شست آشن نفر از کمیونیتیس، so of course تجربه، experience، کلی زیرا خودشان دارن میفهمند که سختی را که شما دیدین و خودشان هم دیده، مگه ماش ترین کدیم که امروز تن گپ بزنه که برای تن کمک کنه بیشتر گپ تن از the same time professional service بر تن بته، but then also اگر دیگه کمک کار داشتین مثلاً که resources برای rent برای آر سپورت کار داشته باشیم ما میتونیم که شما را کنن اکثر ممروی مسجد یا بر کانتی استیت آتشی که ما کار داشتیم خیلی تر کلی میس شست آش نفر که ما داریم و ترین شدن دی. سو ای اول پروگرام ماس دوم پروگرام ماس بر جوانا امالا هوب لاین بر پنج روز اوپن است فرام 6 پی ام تا 10 پی ام and Basset will put the Amala Hotline number there. Uh, after, uh, basically, Juana uh, as a community ma train can them, but it's you do so. Can write the Juana Gapas and Ak from Kedoshtabashan. So that's also open. Same uh, program, community education is a day program, ma training workshop. I work the Pines the Bond Maker, Masaliki, community yard with them, Chira Moemas, Komaka by the Muakki. پرلم آماد فامیل تانی کمک پرسان کنین از خاطر خیلتر وقت اگر نکنین اول پرلم جور میشه از پشت زود دقیق از پشت زود بسیار کلان میشه پرلم ما خوب تر است که شما راستن ما را کمک اسکیز می کال کنین کمک پرسان کنین او اگر ما کمک تان میتونیم با پنج زبان and of course you know workshop که ما از trainings کلش برای برای شما که کمک تان کنه که پرابلم کمتر شود. آسو چارم پروگرام ما برای کلم سنداس ال آفیا فور سینیرز. این پروگرام ما جور کده ایم از خاطره که ما می فهم وقتی که پرنس ما، اولدر پرنس وقتی که در امریکا اینجا می روین تنها می باشن. خلطر خود تان می فهم این در امریکا که باشی هیچ وقت نمی داریم برای کنسندای ما که کمکشان کنیم. خلطر وقت دیگه می شن. already صحتشان یا پرابلم می دارن سو این پروگرام ما داریم هر ما ما برشان یک پروگرام جور می کنیم که یادشان بدیم که چطور دقیقا صحتشان باشه آسو برشان اکتیویتیز که دقیقیت یاشه هوفولی کم کنیم او آخر پروگرام ما که ما یک سال پیش شروع کردیم این نو پروگرام است امرای برای یوت است که یادشان می دیم که چطور در پرشی کانتی انستید بالا شوند این گپ بزنن که چی پرابلم دارن خیلی تر وقت یک سیستمی که بدل کنی باید یاد داشته باشی که چطور گفت بزنی امرای مردم که اتوریتی دارن که سیستم رو بدل کنین او آسو امرای از خاطر کووید ما هم یک پروگرام نو شروع کردیم 20 نفر 20 پیر سپیشلیست و چار ستاف داریم که ار پرابلم که در کووید شما دیدین برای ما تلفون کنین او ما براتون کنکت میکنیم امرای ریسورسز اف ایتس رنت او وراور او پروگرام و نو پروگرام ما از که می شش چهار ماه پیش ما شروع کردیم. سو با خیر آسو در لاستین از خاطر واکسینیشن ما از کانتی یا کانترکت کردیم که امروز کلی گروپ سلمانا نزدی کار کنیم. ما مسجدها نان پرفیت و بسیار رد او کار واره که اورنس پردم جور کنیم از خاطر واکسینیشن. او ایرا با خیر شروع میکنیم دمی سپتامبر. او آسو 
کسایی که برای سی دقیقه در آفیس ما بیاید پرزنتیشن بکسینیشن بشنوان باز پینجا دالر گفت کارد میدیم برای هر نفر که اتند کنند هر ما اوی پروگرام از سپتمبر تا فبروری به خیر می باشه so, um, Weiss, if you could translate that pretty quickly in Pashto Okay دیره مننه گلشن جان گلشن در آغاز این آغاز بکرده چه ویل چه سوال از کالا کیگه چه دفتر محسس اصف دفتر زین فالیتون لری هاو پدقه بخش که اتش پک کسان ترین سوی ده رزا کار ده 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 اقبال محل نیوال استخدام سوی ده دوی او دوی پا پینزه جبه که بلدیت لری او کوال سی چه تاسو سر پده کالفرونیا که زنی خدمات هر زک خاصتان دقه سطح روانی یا سو سکستان چه روانی اجتماعی ستون زیلری کوال سی چه تاسو سر په پینزه جبه که خبری او که او تاسو را ملسته او که چیر تا تاسو ضرورتونه داغانه دیر بایی هم دقه کسان چه ترنسی ویده دیر به وقت کیگی چه محسس اصف سر کار که یا اغوی کوله سی چه تا سوتا زنی نور مرسته و که که چیرتا مثلا محسس اصف دفتر که به نهی تا سو بل چیرتا کوله سی چه لار سی او در خدمات نه مستفید سی او دوام برنامه زوانان و لپاره ده چه زوانان و لپاره اما زنی آگاهی ده یا معلومات ده اغوی تا پا اجتماعی بخشو که آقوی امایت کیگی او برنامه لرو تعلیمات لرو سرنگ چه پر زان حفاظت رو که یا سرخ هم خواه پاندی توب جوان و لری بل در اوم بخش آقا ده چه دوی تا ورکشاپون هم است زوانان تا ورکشاپون هم است چه آقا خاص خاص ورکشاپون ده چه آقوی جوان تا دیر مفیده و مصر ده او ده طول پیسره ده هم مسلم کمینیتی یا اشخاص چه ده پس کالفرونیا که یا ماجر کسان چه ده اغوی کولیسی در خدمات نمستفید سی او پا پینزه جبه که کولیسی چه ده خدمات نمستفید سی در اون بخش حقه ده چه کمک رسانی بخش ده چه مونگ کولیسی و چه باز کسان چه سه ضرورتون لری امون دفتر آقوی تا خدمات فراهم که ای او جلب و جزد کمکونه که ای یا مثلا کچیر تا مستصف سر سه خدمات بنه ای در بل زاینه آیخلی یا دوی آقوی زای تا وصل که ای یا کنک که ای چه در خدمات نمستفید سی آقا کسان چه مستصف دفتر رازی سلوروم خدمات بزرگ سالان یا کوهن سالان و لپاره یا اسپینگیریان لپاره ده چه امونگ بزرگان کله چه امریکی ترازی یا دلتا جوان که دلتا جوان دسته ده چه دوی دیر یوازی پاتی کیگی آخوی سه مصروفیت نلری خسته کیگی هاو آخوی مشکلات دیریگی مونگ سه برنامه لرو بزرگان و لپاره یا امون مشران و لپاره چه اغوی تا زن تعلیمات ده چه سنگ کولیسی چه اقبال زن حفاظت رو که یا اغوی مصروف و ساتو او اغا پا سنگ که امون کولیسی چه در غصه یا فیزیکی فالیتون اغوی لپاره استه چه اغوی باید اکتیف یا فال پاتیسی ایده لپاره در غا فالیتون بزرگ سالان و لپاره ده یا بل شایمان هیر سو در اون بخش که چه مونگ کمک رسانی پا بخش زنی ورکشاپون لرو چه آقا ورکشاپون آگاهی ده ایده لخاطر چه کچیر تا مونگ او تاسو مشکلات تا مخمخ کیگو یا چه ایت ضرورت لرو که داغه مشکل لپاره رای حل پیدا و نکو یا جسوجو نکو به سبا یا به سبا مونگ تا نور دلتنگی یا زنی نور روانی استونزی پیدا کیگه ایده لخاطر امون ورکشاپون کمکون پا بخش ده چه که که چیر تا مونگ سه مشکل سر مخامخ کیگ بو باید آجل یا فوری اقبال کمک پختی نیو کو که ار چیر تا بایی زکه چه امون مشکلات دیر نسی پینزه اومه برنامه زوانان اولو پاره ده دام ده پینزه اومه برنامه لیک ده آقا بل زوانان برنامه نه تفاوت لری زکه چه دقه بخش که پا دقه بخش که مونگ زوانان اولو تا 
دست ترنینگون برابره و چه آهوی لارسی مثلا سینیر مقامات سر یا مشان و سر مثلا دولت کسان و سر یا پاتمان سر یا بل چیرته د زوانان و پنمایندگی خبری و که او اخپل مشکلات حل تا پیشنهات و که یا ای دوی ظرفیت یا توانی دمره و چه تسی چه و کولی سی چه پا آمه زایو که یا پا رسمی مجالس و که دقا توانی و لری چه خبری و که شپگوم برنامه همون برنامه چه ده آقا ده کووید پرگرام ده چه دقا یو سوم دیکی گی چه آقا سوی ده دقا کووید برنامه شل کسان شل کسان ترنگ نیوالی ده چه پا دقا بخش که آقا کسان چه ده کووید لیسر نه متاثر سوی ده آقوی ده خدمات و که او آقا پسنگ که دقا شل کسان پسنگ که مونگ سلور کارمندان هم لرو چه دقا کارمندان او شل نور کسان که چیر تا یو چا تا ده باز زنی خدمات ضرورت بایی مثلا کرای خانه ده ده ماشومان پاملرنه بایی یا نور خدمات چه کور تا ضرورت ده او ده کوویت لسبب نمونگا و متاثر سویو دقا کسان آقا خدمات تاسو ترزکی او فراهم کهی تاسو تا آقا خدمات او آخر بخش که امونگ آقا ده ده واکسین برنامه ده چه آقا سپتمبر میاشت که شروع سویده او نو آقا سویده تروست رسمی آقا زیندی سویده آقا مونگ مساجد سر قرارداد لرو چه ده واکسین په بخش که زنی آگاهی یا معلومات خلکو تا به ارائه کهی او کسان باید واکسین مونیسی او آقا پستان که مونگ کولای سو چه زنی ورکشاپونه لرو محسسسه پا دفتر که ده که سوک غوالی چه آقا ورکشاپو تا به راستی با او دقا معلوماتی ترنینگ یا ورکشاپ به اونیسی بعد لاغا نه اقوی کوله سی چه اقوی کوالیفای ده یا واجد شرایط ده چه مسیس تلفانه پنزوز دالاره ده گفت کارت یا توفه کارت مستفید سی او را واخلی او ده و ده مسیس تف پشورده یا معلوماتی بسته تا سوته مانه نه برشنده Thank you, Ice. Besides, we have to make sure that program is joined. We have to make sure that the community, the actually the Pines is one joined. We have to make sure that we have to make sure that presenter, Pashto, Dari, and Urdu, and Arabic, we make them in separate rooms. I'm ready. But we have to make sure that we have to make sure that we have to make sure that we have to because then you don't have to wait ki yakar pashto kas gabs and yakar dari im shawi da natan istim as khateri ki presenter ma ardushan ba inglisi miga لیلی جان خواست که از ایران از فارسی کپس هم میتونم مگم بخیر این در فیوچر پروگرام میتو میکنیم که ما میفهم این شوی خیلی وقت گرفتم می در بگیننگ دل ما بود که پانگزه دقه میره کنیم مگم خیلی وقت گرفت از خاطر ترانزلیشن بعد این در فیوچر بخیر میتو میکنیم که پریزنتر هم بزبان باشه خودتان را سنمی سوال را پرسان کنی so with that let's بخیر if we could have لیلی and مونا uh, please take on some questions. I know we have many. Um, we could start from there. Um, so you could unmute yourself. If you'd raise your hand and um, we'll call on you. I'll meet on in K mom question it on a read in the chat. Can I'm taking the action? Okay. Hello. 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 So Adwa, if you could let me know if anyone's raised their hand or not. Okay, so I can let you know as well, Lushan, we have um, a couple, we have 11 hands up right now, and we also have some questions in the Q&A chat, around 15 questions. Okay. Um, so if we want to start with the people who have their hands raised. Uh, so Basit, why don't you start with just calling their name out and uh, okay. then if... Um... Can we have Miriam Karimi? Miriam Karimi, I'm going to allow you to talk. My name is John, mute it uh, um, and mute yourself and get to that, please. 
سلام علیکم خوب هستین صد خوب ما میتونم انگلیسی هم صحبت کنم اما چون نمیخوام که ترجمه شما خودم صحبت میکنم با زبان داری اسم ما مریم است ما زیاد سوالات دارم یعنی بچوز از اینکه مثلا شما گفتین که شما بعضی کمک ها دارین مسئولیت دارین در باری مثلا خودم کم معلومات دارم و جای نام هست من برای شما فقط یک موضوعی بود که ماجرینی که اینجا هستن یا در دیگه مناطق که هستن در کالفورنیا یا که بجد از کالفورنیا در دیگه استیدا هستن اونا کمک های لازم دارن بیتون از کالفورنیا و کسایی که اینجا هستن نیاز به کمک دارن و حتی کسایی که در افغانستان هم هستن نیاز به کمک دارن یعنی منظور من این است کسایی که لفت باقی ماندن در افغانستان اصناد دارن یعنی تمام اصنادهایشان، پاسپورتشان و ویزه تمام چیز دارن یعنی اگر کدام پروگرام باشه یا کدام کمک باشه با اونایی که اونجا ماندن یعنی آل خونی پروازی هست که اونا بتونن اینجا بیاین یا فقط در مقدر که اگر کمکی باشه به افغانایی که در افغانستان هستن بدون از اینه که بدون از اونایی که مثلا میخواین بیان ما خیلی کسایی دیگه داریم در افغانستان کمیال و خوردن خود چیز ندارن یعنی ما فضل خدا ماشاءالله اینجا میتونیم روزگار خود پیش ببریم چون همه یک کار میکنن و دولت هم چیز کمک میکنن یعنی ما تشویش به کسایی دارم که در افغانستان ماندن چون کسایی که ماشاءالله اینجا آمدن انشاءالله روز میشه که پای خود استاد میشن کم کم دولت کمکشان میکنن موسسات خودشان به پای خود میشن اما مردمی که اونجا ماندن من میخوام اگر شما یا موسسات دیگه کدام کمک به روزونا بکنین که اونا بتونن یک چند وقت با... یعنی خود می فهم وضعیت افغانستان خیلی خرابه بعد اگر ما بتونیم کمک با اونایی که ماندن اونجا خانواده‌ای که نمیتونن شب و روز خدا بچلونن با اونا هم یک کمک شویم متشکرم ثانک یو لیلی دید یو اندرستاند وات شی سید Regrettably, the connection was um, not very good for me, so I missed a lot of it. Um, I don't I, know I, if it was the I same for others. I think overall, overall, her question is about support for people who are left behind in Afghanistan and if there's a program to support to bring them in and to the U.S., if there's anything that's developing. Um, would, do you, would you prefer me to try to answer in Farsi or in English? Yeah, go for it. سلام علیکم مریم خانم حال شما خوبه من با عرض معذرت واقعا از صمیم قلب صحبت می کنم من ایرانی هستم من خواهر شما هستم و واقعا متاثر هستم که جواب خوب و کاملی برای شما ندارم به علت اینکه این اوضاعی این که الان پیش آمده هیچ کدام ماها هیچ نه, نه در ایران نه ببخشید نه در افغانستان و نه اینجا در امریکا هیچ نوع آمادگی برای نداشتیم هیچ برنامه برای هیچ کس ریخته نشده و یک واقعا موقعیت بسیار دشواریه و من جواب خوبی برای همین ندارم ما مثل شما منتظر هستیم که ببینیم چی میشه که چه قراردادهایی بسته میشه بین طالبان و با این دولت امریکا و دولت های دیگه و حتی شاید ممالک همسایه افغانستان برای همین برای اون افرادی که الان اونجا قرار گرفتن و در خطر هستن من واقعا نمیدونم چی بگم من هم مثل شما منتظرم ببینم که چه کاری میشه کرد برای این افراد این سوال ها رو میشه یک ذره شمرده ترم گفت برای اینکه از دیدگاه دولت امریکا این, این تمام این نفرات مثل همدیگه نیستن درسته در این میان کسانی هستن که برای دولت امریکا در افغانستان کمک کردن کار کردن و اونا ممکنه که یه شامل یه برنامه های خاصی بشن بنابراین این سوال شما بسیار مهمه ولی کلیه متوجه هستید واقعا امیدوارم که به زودی یک جواب بهتری به ما برسه که ما بتونیم با شما در میان بگذاریم و یه 
و فکر یه راه حلی برای همه بشه تشکرم و یک در آخر امی که فیلان امی اموطنان ما افغان های خود ما کوشش دارن که به کشورهای دیگه برن پنا ببرن ولی که هر کشور باشه مثلا اگر آل نام بگیرم یعنی کدام چیز نشم پاکستان باشه یا هندوستان تاجیکستان یا ایران فقط ما میخوایم صدای افغان های خود شوام که لطفا لطفا وقتی که افغان ها به کشورتان پنا میبرن امروشون روی خراب نکنه چون نام انسان هستن یعنی اونا شوق نمیخوان از کشور خود برایان ما میخوام صدای اموطنان خود شوام که با کشورهایی که میرن لطفا نجات شون نکنن یعنی چند دقیقه بگی خیر مریم جان قند این گپار گفتی بسیار کل ما می تو فیلم میکنیم خلطر که افغان باشی بسیار کل ما بسیار پین هستیم مثل خودت واری من که هر دقیقه گپ میزم گیریم یا مگم امیاله به خیر به خیر امرای کیر امرای ریدا این روز ما ده بجه دیگه میرین بیدم که در هلت این Human Services, Department of Public Health, County, کل ما با سمم در امیدین بود. کلشان بسیار نزدیک کار میکنن، بسیار تیز کار میکنن که از خاطر هاوزنگ، از خاطر ار سپورت برای اوغنا کمک کنن. او در امو کال خلطر اوغنا بود از کالیفورنیا، از دیفرن ارگانیزیشن، لاس انجلس، آرنج کانتی، سان دیگو. بخیر، بخیر، من خودم ترای میکنم آن بیهف محصف که امی اوغنا را در ار کانتی یک جای کنیم که یک جای کار کنن این ویس شان هرد بشنون کلگی امی افیشلز کانتی این ستیت که امی سترنت این پاور ای اوغنا بسیار سترانگر شوه از خاطر کل ما امی آل بسیار در بسیار پین هم اصلیم من کمک وقت میگیرن که امی کل چیزا را یک جای کنیم مگم the most important things که ما برتان هستیم که کپتان را بشنم او کمکتان کنیم بسیار تشکر خواهد Okay, that's good. So next Basit, do we have another panda, please? Yeah. So the next person is Zakia Nadir. So I will allow you to talk. And you can unmute yourself now. Hi, I'm with you. Good, thank you. Thank you for joining. Go ahead, Zakia. Salam, Jill. What's up? What's up? شما چطور هستی؟ تشکر شما خوب هستی. من یک سوال داشتم خوراک میکردم پیادرم کردی امریکایی ها کار کرده بود ترجمان بود اما چی رقم شوه کوره ما به طلب مینجا که جانش در خطر است لوگر هستن دیگه بیخی لوگر خوب میکنم بیخی وضعیتش خراب است. آجان تشکر برای سوالت. لیلی دو یو وانا دو یو اندرستان در پشت؟ She's asking each other about in Afghanistan that used to work with the U.S. government and still there. Is there a way we could help him? Salam alaikum, khalam alaikum. Man, talash mi konam ta ta onjay ki mitunam jawab sual shamar bedam. Shama shaharatun migin ke baray dolat Amerika bawan motarjam kar karde. Ne ashpaz bud kadi. Bal. برای دولت امریکا آشپز بودن شعار شما بله در 2017 اونجا آشپزی کرده بود برای آرمی امریکایا میدونین برای چه مدتی این فعالیت رو داشتن؟ ببخشین سلام برس همشیره خانم سعی صحبت کرده نمیتونه یک برادرش با, امری... با دولت امریکا اونجا کار میکرد با طول چند سال Uh, now you know he's been threaded uh, by the Taliban uh, a few times, and one time they hit him so much they damaged and made an infection to have on his ear. Now he's at home, but he's hiding and he doesn't even get out of the house. And it, it, we're, we already we already put a application for him, but uh, I don't know how to do the rest, and it's really difficult for me how I can have him come over here or flee to another country. What application did you put for him? 
Uh, that recently, the one that I put uh, for a Congress, uh, there was some application. I put it on behalf from me that it was my brother's wife. And I also talked talk to the congressman as well. And hmm. well, they're telling us they're going to help us, but like, I don't see any result, any outcome, you know? I, I can speak generally um, here about results and outcomes. Um, I can continue now in English or Farsi, whichever is better for everybody. But since what I'm you, speaking in Farsi English- Farsi would be good. Farsi, okay. Um, ببینید متاسفانه این الان فکر میکنم همه متوجه بشید که یک اینجا یک تمی برای جوابا هست و اینه که همچین اتفاقی که افتاده ده ده ها هزار آدم دارن در حال دارن در همزمان با هم همچین فرما رو پر میکنن و همه دارن به هم دیگه تلفن میکنن به به کانگرسمنشون به سناتورشون شما مثل هر کسی که یک فامیلی در افغانستان دارین و ایشان رو دوست دارید و دلتون میخواد که این ایشون به اینجا برسن دارین هر کاری از 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 دستتون برمیاد انجام میدین و من میخوام که شما بدونین که شما این کارو کردین و ما هم الان مثل شما منتظر هستیم که ببینیم چی میشه چه, در، چه, ج... چه دری باز میشه آم، که وقتی که اگر دوباره فرودگاه باز بشه آم، آیا میتونیم که از اون از اینجا فعالیت بکنیم یا اینکه مجبور میشیم ببینیم که باید مردم برند به یه مملکت دیگه م... مثلا پاکستان، هند، ترکیه، اوزبکستان، تاجیکستان من نمیدونم ولی متاسفانه جواب خوبی برای شما ندارم دوباره من میخوام الان از همکارم مونا هم بپرسم که آیا چیزی, چیزی میخوان اضافه کنن اینجا یا نه اجازه هست مونا I was um, I'm, I've, my general commentary has been that it's, it's hard to um, to answer uh, these, these questions um, the question generally was um, for people who filled out all of these forms and spoken to their elected representatives but haven't heard anything back, uh, my general response is that, well, um, there are tens of thousands of these forms and, and, and applications and that you have done everything that you can and that we now need to wait and see what um, pathways open to uh, mission to the United States. I think we're having some internet problems. Mona, did you understand what Lely said? Um, she got off. She kind of got cut off at the end there for me. Um, it looks like she's frozen right now. Um, but generally, the the stuff that I did here, I would echo the same sentiments as Lely. Um, right now we're not really able to offer advice for how to get loved ones out of Afghanistan, unfortunately. Uh, there's a lot that remains to be seen. Uh, things are developing day by day, um, as you can imagine. And there has been a huge backlog of SIV applications, humanitarian parole applications, refugee applications through US uh, RIP and the P1, P2 system. Um, so, you know, it's great that you've applied and that's really the best thing that you could have done at this point. Unfortunately, there's not much more information for how to get people out of there. Um, currently the airport is completely closed. Air travel is not at all possible at this point in time. Um, and people have been opting to try to travel via land borders through other countries. And I think I heard Lely mention a couple of these other nations that people have been traveling to, but that's not really something that Lely and I can assist in, unfortunately. Um, if, if that's what the question was asking. I'm not sure if I missed anything here, uh, but I'm here to off, ask, answer any other questions that you guys may have. So Lily, your internet, internet connection went a little bit bad. So I don't know if uh, Mona got what you were saying and if she answered what you were asking. Yeah, I think Lily's internet connections. Uh, Zaki, uh, to that. 
Lily, your internet connection keeps on going. I mean, maybe if you turn off your video temporarily, sometimes. Yeah, yeah you're right. That, that would help. Zakia, Khotan Mitan in Kibos, Bangisi Persan Kuni, Monara Mikosawala, Aga, if you like. I think Lily is trying, Magam Internet Shari, Stop Misha. The unmute, uh, the mute testing. Hold on. Can you can you hear me? Yes, we can now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lily, if we can't hear you now. <laughs> yeah. No. Sorry. I'm here. I just um. I felt like I had answered the question in Farsi, but I don't know if if all of my reply was heard. Um, because of the unstable connection that I appear to be having, I'm sorry for creating more technical difficulties here. Not at all. That's that's no problem. I think uh, the sister and the brother who are asking the question logged off. Um, so thank you. Um, let's go ahead. Thank you, Mona and uh, Lady um, Basit. If we could go ahead before Basit goes to the next question. Um, so if Masood, uh, Weiss, and Basit, please uh, capture all the questions that are being asked. I know we're not going to have enough time. Uh, we're going to try our best to get responses to these and post them on our website for you. Um, um, like um, for now, um, whoever wants to ask a question, just raise your hand. So Basit, go ahead and call on the next person, please. Okay, the next person is um, Kutzia Kakar. I'm allowing you to talk now. Please unmute yourself. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Kutzia John, go ahead. Hi, Um, I just wanted to know if there was anything other uh, uh, we can do other than the SIV or the P2 visas uh, for people in Afghanistan, because um, some of these people haven't worked with the government, with the U.S. government. And um, is there anything we can fill out for them? I know the humanitarian parole visa is available, but that's only, I think, for a year or two. Um, so I was wondering if there's any resources that help um, people fill out those forms or those visa applications. Uh, any of the lawyers do they uh, help with like supporting the supporting documents or supporting those Afghans to come here um, after the visa is approved? Yeah. So aside from SIV and the P two program, which is for individuals who work for the U S government, um, there is another refugee process. It's under the P one program, which is also under U S RAP. Um, and that is for refugees from Afghanistan, not specifically people who have worked with the US government, but you do have to be referred uh, by UNHCR and other organizations like that. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm blinking on the second part of your question. Can you repeat that for me one more time? Um, I was wondering if there's any kind of support or resources from the lawyers that help with uh, completing these documents, uh, because I have family out there, but I don't know which visa they qualify for, if it's going to be the humanitarian parole visa, um, I don't think they can have a refugee, um, like, they can't have anyone, I don't think they can have a referral, so it's, I'm just trying to figure out the best way for them to start the process. Yeah, um, other than the processes you mentioned in the, the refugee program that I specifically mentioned right now, um, there's only other options are family processes like applying via an I-130 or something like that. But right now I would not recommend going that route. That's gonna be excessively slow because there is a focus on the more humanitarian applications at this point in time, which are already very backlogged. So the only thing I can suggest is if you're able to exit the country somehow um, and get to the United States, there's still the option of going through the humanitarian parole process. It's a case by case basis. And right now they are prioritizing people with SIV applications or P2 applications in process. Uh, but you know they have a discretion to potentially allow you in even if you don't have an application like this on file or that you don't have eligibility for such an application. Um, and unfortunately there's not really a whole lot of other options at this point. Um, uh, did, Lee, if you, I don't know does if your team provide any kind of uh, like help or resources individually where we, you can help us fill out the forms? Um, so that's not, that's not usually what we do, but right now we are looking to expand our roles to provide assistance like this to members in the community. Um, we are speaking with our various partners right now to try to figure out the best way to offer this kind of support. 
Um, and we are looking to develop informational panels and potentially clinics. Um, and as soon as we do have more information about that, I will reach out to both Sean and our other partner organizations to, to disseminate this information and make it available to you and others in the community who are interested. Okay, thank you. But say, John, uh, we are, um, we're all working very closely to, to, to get not only access to uh, a lot of lawyers, but also uh, work together to be able to at least provide you that support to fill out the applications and get you um, to talk to lawyers directly. It is taking time where, we're, as you can see just tonight, there's so many questions. So um, just, uh, we will definitely inform you um, by sending emails. Uh, uh, tonight, if you've, uh, you're attending, you're going to get those emails directly from MassF. Okay. Thank you, Khatia. Um, Basit, next uh, person. The next person is uh, Furuhar uh, Badr. I will allow you to talk now. Please unmute yourself. You're on mute for her. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, Malay. Sadar Mar Mishnah, in. So, all of that, Bori, I'm here. Kafarika from Lois from Afghanistan and humanitarian Paru for Afghan. Yak, so all of my Kotas, Potterami, Mehos from Bofamka, Kasarika from Lois from Afghanistan. Agar Budiji, Molish on Coin Boshio, Taxi, for Solo for the فایل نکرده باشن آیا اونا هنوز هم میتونن که فامیل خود بخواین با فارم 130 i30 i34 i92 پر کنن ما شنیدم به خاطر شرایط شرایط جنگ است به افغانستان و یک امتیاز داده شده به افغانا کسایی که حتی اگر وضعیت مالی شون خوب نبوده و یا پرسال تکسشون کم بوده یعنی کم کار کرده بودن میتونن هنوز هم فامیل خود بخواهند چون جان نو به خطر است و افغانستان یک چانس است آیا گپ راست است یا درست مسعود کنیش 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 last year or was not able to file or or the income was less uh, would it be or would that person be able to bring her family through uh, uh, humanitarian parole or uh, i-30 form or i-34 form or i-94 to the united states uh, there is uh, uh, some information that uh, uh, you still can bring your family uh, in the US. However, you 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 add the work uh, less last year and you pay the taxes or your income is less. Thank you. Well, and he wants to know whether this is true or is, is it, if you could confirm that, you have any information? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mona and Lily? Um, yeah, for humanitarian Apple, humanitarian parole applications, there is a requirement to submit an affidavit of support for these applications. It's required to be a US citizen individual who's filling this out for you. And there is an income requirement. I do not remember the income requirements at the top of my head. There is a spreadsheet on the USCIS website. If you wanna to try to access that, I don't have it handy, unfortunately, but there is an income requirement on that. Um, so that is required for humanitarian parole applications. Thank you. And for her, uh, what you can do is uh, moderate us an email call and the metonym can more information, especially uh, care, Mona, beginning, but but on round cream. So you're welcome to just email us about that. Or Mona, if you want, you could also put in chat, but uh, for her, you could also email us and uh, pose your question again. That's good. All right, uh, Basit, next question. You're on mute, Basit. For staff, next, let's put us on uh, unmute yourself so that way you okay. don't have to. Okay. So the next person is uh, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, as it's written in the in, in, in their name. So I'm allowing you to chat now. Please unmute yourself. You're still You're on mute. mute. 
حواست نمیشنویم Basit, can you unmute her? I can, I can ask them to unmute, but uh, they have to unmute themselves. We, okay. we can't do it for them. Yeah, for the time, by the unmute, but I'm not going to So please, um, the unmute call, please. I was the name of the missionary. So, so we cannot unmute them. Yeah. What is, um, you don't have any option. Okay, at uh, the bottom of the screen, you better in on uh, chat, uh, mute button as a uh, mute click on it. So screen that side make need uh, chat the left side, bottom. Okay, Masood, can you say? Yeah, there is like a mic sign. Uh, please unmute. Yak sign a mic as mic what as whether Sarah Yak hat is Sarkas. Shumaura click on it. Pass unmute Mesha. The phone as. So um, same thing on your phone. The uh, on the bottom second, the point of phone, the screen it click on the bottom was a Munjo Yak unmute me. Okay, keep on trying. I will go to the next person and then Shumaura was uh, answer me. Okay, um, that's it. Go on to the next, and Subhanallah could continue if you want. All right, go ahead. Um, the next person is uh, Shola Yawari. I will allow you to talk now. Please unmute yourself. Mm -hmm. You are on mute, Shola. سلام هر زدت خدمت تمام شما که برنامه را پیش بردین واقعا یک برنامه است که کمک میکنه به معلومات ما من چند سوال داشتم اولی خب امی لحظه قرار که بود بسیاری سوال ها را جواب شکر گرفتم ولی با آن هم شما خودتان میفهمین که در افغانستان فعلا بسیاری کسایی که مستحق بودن واقعا اونا کار کردن و حتی کسانی که کار هم کردن ولی اونا همو اسناد که لازم بوده مثل HR لیتر یا ریکمندیشن لیتر اونا نگرفتن چون هیچ وقت این به فکر نبودن که باید از افغانستان خارج شون و برند کشور دیگه زندگی کنن اما متاسفانه بدبختانه کی دفتن انجام شد و اونا نه این دو اسناد فعلا نداره ولی کار کردن اما هیچ اقدام تاول فعلا بر از وانشتا و اونا همه در افغانستان بند ماندن و در پلوی از بسیاری مردم دیگه هم که با دولت کار کرده بودن اونا هم در افغانستان بند ماندن که شما خودتان شاهد هستین که تمام سرحد و بسته از قیلا هیچ کس به جای رفته نمیتونه پروازانیست و همه گی یعنی خونشان در قف دستشان در اونجا بند ماندن و کسانی که آمدن هم شرایط میدان هوایی به شما معلوم بود اگر یک تعداد مستحق بودن ولی کسان هم که نبود دان اونا آمدن و ما ایر از این کار کردن نمی توانیم بنا ما چند سوال داشتم اگر ببخشیم که اگر زیاد صحبت کردم ای که سوال اول می است که کسانی که مثلا قبلا برای های 130 برای پتیشن یعنی برای فامیلش در سال این پنج سال شش سال پیش اپلای کرده آیا بر از اونا یعنی اکسپدایت ویزا یا اکسپدایت پروسس فعلا وجود داره اگر داره شرایط چیز و دومی که برای آی 131 همی ایمنیتریان امرجنسی که هست ای شرایط چی نیست چون که ما تا جایی که در مورد معلومات کردم اونا گفتن که باید یعنی شواهد باید نشان بدن که اینا جانشان زیر تهدید است و اینا تنها بر مدت یک سال میتونن اینجا بیاین و مو فردی که زیر تهدید قرار داره همو رو میتونن بیارن که بعد از یک سال باز اونا میتونن امو میادشان یا وقتشان خلاص میشه دمید دو مورد اگر شما معلومات بتین ممنون خواهد شدم سپاس Oh, um, so she first said that uh, given that nobody was clearly aware of what was going to happen, a lot of people did not get the proper documentation they would have received uh, from the people, uh, the officials that they were working with. So there's a lot, uh, they don't have the proper documentation. And then she went on to ask two questions about specific forms. And Masood, if you could ask, pose those questions in English, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the two forms uh, was uh, 100, uh, 
I-130 and I-131 that, uh, that uh, uh, people apply and how long it, it will take uh, for them to process. And considering, you know, the situation of uh, Afghanistan, that uh, airports are blocked, people cannot go anywhere else in Afghanistan, their lives are in danger. And uh, so uh, uh, furthermore, uh, she also uh, mentioned that uh, the, uh, uh, there was uh, mentioned that you should prove that their life is in danger uh, in Afghanistan. So uh, uh, how come we uh, uh, process all this uh, uh, in the United States and how long it, how long it will take? Um, so I need some clarification on this question, Shola, unfortunately. Uh, the I-130 process is a very different process from these humanitarian processes. Um, and I-130 does not require any proof of harm or threats in Afghanistan. So this, this other application you're referring to, which one is this one, the one that's, that you're saying you didn't get the information or evidence regarding threats? This one was I-131. Uh, I think it's the humanitarian emergency. I think you just mentioned regarding that one. Yeah, I one. I, are you referring to the I one thirty or the I one thirty one? I one thirty one. Okay. Um. So I. I think when I that called you... when I, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. When I called to USCIS, they told me it's only for one year, and you only sponsor the specific person as life is in dangerous. You you have to show some evidence their life is in threaten now, and uh, and uh, also you if they have family, you apply for individual person for that. I don't know how it will work. Yeah. So humanitarian parole is like I mentioned earlier, it's on a case by case basis, depending on urgent humanitarian need. And often that's demonstrated through harm or threats that you're facing in your home country. That's not, as far as I know, that's not entirely necessary. There's not an actual list of eligibility requirements for humanitarian parole. It's simply based on urgent humanitarian need. Um, and that's really a discretionary process. It's very difficult to get around that if they tell you it's not sufficient for the humanitarian parole process. Um, I'm not aware of any appeals process for that. I don't know if Laylee has any further information about humanitarian parole that she wants to offer. My specific question is regarding like a family, their father is or the man of the house is under threaten, but they cannot leave the wife or the kids to come to United States. How they can you can apply for their kids? What kind of danger is in their life? Kids, that was the confusion a little bit. So your question is whether you can apply for the children as well? Yes, because you have to apply for father, for the wife, for individual person. Yeah, you, you cannot do. apply for the family. Right. So you can apply, he can apply for the children as well. And it can simply be based on harm to the children due to, due, due to their family association with the father. Um, this, this would probably require a more extensive consultation. Um, at this time, I just wanna give general advice. Uh, I, I am hesitating to give you specific advice for your case because that requires a lengthy consultation from me and I can't give you specific advice for your case without a full consultation. Um, Laylee, if you have any other information to offer, uh, please feel free to jump in. No, I mean, I don't have anything to add to that. It, it seems that there would be a separate lap application for the for the, the family members, is my understanding, as you just said. Okay, so John, uh, did you have any more questions? And uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have to like maybe call or personally or regarding that because still I am I have a question. Thank you. I don't want to take other people's time. Thank you. Thank you. Masit, next question. Okay, the next person, um, uh, Anissa Sarwari, I will allow you to talk now. Please unmute yourself. Bali. Salam, Anissa. Salam, who best in Satan too? Top تشکر ابتدا خود جای در تشکری کنم از دی برنامه خوبتون و من مقدمه چینی نمی کنم فقط یک معلومات دباره کیت خود می خواهیم برتان بودم من 
برنده لاتری دیو لاتری سال 2019 بودم و به همون اساس آمدم امریکا و گرین کارت خود گرفتم و تفلک مام اینجا به دنیا آمد منطور من در امریکا زندگی نکردم به خاطر از یک شورم در افغانستان بودن و من خودم اونجا وظیفه داشتم به عنوان رئیس جمهور زنان من فعالیت میکردم در اونجا دوباره افغانستان رفتم و بر شور فرم های اکسد سیر خانه پوری کردیم برای از که ما اونا رو بتانم بخوایم در امریکا ولی تا زمانی که طالبا به اگه صاحب در اونجا حکومت گرفتن ما و تفلکم همراه شهر ما آمدیم به امریکا آمدیم تفلم سیتیزن داره پاسپورت هست من خودم گرین کارت دارم من تا شهرم کدام اسناد نداشتن و کسشان فقط اپروول خورده بود و بر ویزا روان شده بود وقتی که ما از طریق پروازان امریکا آمدیم در میدان نوایی بر از اونا یک مور زدن در پاسپورتشان که تقریبا یک سال هو اعتبار داره سوال من هیست که کیس از اونا ما چه قسم پیش ببریم یعنی برای سوشیال و برای گرین کارت چه قسم ما هپلای بکنیم و همچنان برای میدیکر و سوال دوم هیست که یعنی ما امکان نداریم درآمد نداریم و آیا هر سه نفر ما میتونیم از کمک های دولت مستفید بشیم یعنی و در قسمت خانه ما در هیچ فعلا در خانه دوستا هستیم و موفق نشدیم یعنی هم وزینیش نداریم که به خود خانه بگیریم از این دو دفتر که شما معرفی کردین آیا ما میتونیم که از خدمات از اونا مستفید بشیم در قسمت خانه و اونا ما رو همکاری بکنن و همچنان در قسمت تحصیل ما در قسمت کورسایی که برای زبان است و هم سالو هم فقط این همین موضوع است و یک بس دیگه ای که کیسی که مثلا ما شوار ما خواستم باز ضرورت به اسپانسر داره که یک نفر اونا رو اسپانسر کنه آیا ما خودم میتونم اونا رو اسپانسر کنم یا یعنی که باید یک کس باشه که درآمد داشته باشه و اونا رو اسپانسر کنه منیسا جان تشکر سمونا شیز اسکین کپل تینگز سو انیسا جان ان ترمز اف مدیکل اند خودتان میتونید که ما رو ایمیل کنی را آسن ما شما را کنکت میکنیم امرای سپورت سو ستاف افشی کد پت دی ایمیل این دی چات فر انیسا سو ما را را آسن ایمیل کو این ما شما را کنکت میکنیم اباد مدیکل این هاوزنگ ون ها را در قویشن واز اباد شی کم در لاری پروسس این 2019 و شی هر چالت هر هر Um, anyways, her child is a citizen. She has green card and her husband still needs to come over to the U.S. I may be wrong about that. So she wants to know how to take his case forward. Uh, Masoud, is that correct? In, in fact, uh, uh, she managed to bring her, her husband with her and child. So the child is citizen herself. She has green card and she brought her husband at the airport uh, so they have one uh, stamp which is uh, valid for one year in the united states she is uh, wondering that uh, i don't have any income i don't have house i'm uh, living with my family members uh, and friends who are here uh, so where can i start to uh, get uh, my husband uh, Uh, social security, uh, green card, and uh, also can I be uh, entitled to get uh, 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 housing support from uh, uh, the uh, two organizations that you introduced to us? Also, uh, uh, the second question was that uh, 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 there is uh, like uh, someone <laughs> need to sponsor. Uh, my husband. So, can I sponsor her uh, without income, or can uh, or somebody else is required to sponsor him with a, a good income or sufficient income? Thank you. So, I don't think I'm the best person to answer the question about benefits and social security. That's not really my area, unfortunately. 
Uh, but to speak to the immigration aspect of it, there's a couple, if he's already in the United States, there's a couple of different avenues that you can go through. So he can go through the asylum process, which would, which is what a lot of Afghani individuals are probably going to be using. But since you're a green card holder, he can also go through the immigrant uh, relative petition, which is the I-130. That's going to be the first step. You have to get the I-130 approved before he can actually go through the other step. And for that, so that step, the first step, there is no income requirement. You simply need to file it, but there is going to be a wait time for that. Um, I just pulled up the visa bulletin for September of 2021. Let me check that for you really quick and I can tell you um, how long that is processing right now. One moment. Um, if you want to translate what I've, if you want to yeah. translate what I've already said, you can go ahead and do that. Thank you. Uh, uh, مونا گفتن که من دبارش بسیار زیاد معلومات ندارم اما میتونم براتون گفته که شما خودتان میتونین که آی یک سد سی فرم شخانه پری بکنین و ای ضرورت داره که خودتان روان بکنین و وقت گیر است وقت گیر است میخواید که چک بکنه حالا که چقدر وقت در بر میگیره که اما آی یک سد سی شما پروسس شوه برای شما میبخشین در این قسمت من فرم آی اکسدسی رو تقریبا ده ماه پیش بر شوهر خانه پوری کرده بودم و کیسشان اپروول خورده و بر ویزا رفته کیسشان منطقه خود هنال اینا هینج هستند در هم بیکاستند این سابق قسمه بود که ما ویزا رو در این بسی کابل که می رفتیم در اونجا ویزا می دادن اینا رو پروسسش در اینجا چی رقم هست بر که بیل گرفتن نه که بیل نمبر دارن بله ها بله بشکر. Uh, so, uh, Mona, uh, she is saying that 10 months ago I applied uh, uh, and I fell high 130 uh, uh, for my husband and uh, it has been approved. She has a KBL number, but since uh, he has a KBL number, but since he is here now in America, uh, it was, uh, uh, it has gone to uh, 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 visa like US embassy in Afghanistan. So now my husband is here and uh, how can we get her visa, uh, his visa done uh, in the United States since we are here now? Okay. Green card Same as uh, green card, how can we apply for green card? Thank you. Okay, so for since sure. the I-130 has been approved already, um, you need to go through the I-45 process and the application for that. Um, that does require an affidavit of support, unfortunately, with the, with the attached income requirement which I don't have the exact numbers on. Um, and you can, if you don't have the income requirement or you, you don't meet the income requirement for that, you can also seek out a family member or a friend who can help you with that. It doesn't have to be you, um, it can be somebody else. The only requirement is that it be a US citizen. تشکر Thank you. اخوار جان برای شما گفتن که آی چلا پنجا خانپوری بکنین. و این ضرورت است که پروسه از این اطور است که شما باید اما در پالی از این که شما فرم آی چل پاینج خانه پری کردین باید انکم تان روان بکنین ضرور نیست که انکم از شما باشه میشه که یک عوض فامیل شما که انکم بالا داره میتونه که از او را از طریق از او شما پیش برین و انکمشان بتین و میتونه که اونها شما را شوار شما را اسپانسر بکنم تشکر تشکر بسیار زیاد تینک یو بری مچ تشکر از شما وقت تن پاش وقت تن پاش اوکی تینک تشکر نیسه جان باسید نیکس پرسن گیف می جست این مومنت اوکی تا نیکس پرسن از نسیر ای بل اللاو یو تو تاک یو می انمیت یورسلف نو هلو کن یو هیر می Mm-hmm. Yes, go ahead. So I have some question. I wrote it down. I'll ask him so they can go faster. Sure. Uh, so first question is, what is the difference between I-134 and one uh, I-864? And how much money does one need to have to sponsor a family of five through a humanitarian parole? Uh, house size, household size, including the new family of five is seven. And another question I have is, uh, My parents are not U.S. citizens yet, but their uh, naturalization process is going on. They did their fingerprint uh, waiting for the interview as of right now. So I was wondering, should they apply for humanitarian parole on behalf of my, uh, my da uh, their daughter, so my sister and her husband and their three kids? Mona, did you get both questions? 
you're on mute. Okay, so to answer the first question, um, the I-864, which is the affidavit of support, these are both affidavits, affidavits of support. The I-864 is specifically for immigrant visas, which is for permanent status usually. And the other one you mentioned, um, that is for a temporary non-immigrant visa. So for people who are entering with humanitarian parole, for example, you would use that application. But they're both the same thing, just diff for different processes. And, okay, uh, so, they, so they require the same amount of uh, financial uh, ability for yeah, you to sponsor Yeah, it's the same, yeah. Okay. And I, I, sorry, I don't remember the second question, but if you want to repeat that, I can answer that as well. Yeah, so so my parents, they're not US citizen yet. We've been here so, since like 2015, so almost five, more than five years. Uh, we applied for uh, naturalization for them. Uh, they did the fingerprint and everything. As of right now, waiting for the interview. Uh, I was wondering, should they apply for humanitarian parole on behalf of their daughter and her husband and three kids? Are they in Afghanistan currently? They are in Afghanistan right now, but if uh, the uh, humanitarian parole is accepted, they can uh, get out of the country to Pakistan by themselves. Okay. Um, well, if they're able to get to Pakistan, then, then you know, I see no disadvantage in applying for humanitarian parole. You always can. Uh, there is a filing fee for humanitarian parole. I believe it's 575 and it's required for each applicant, which includes the five children. Um, so I think you had a question about that as well. So it'd be 575 times six or seven. Uh, no, yeah, that, that, that's okay. But uh, yeah, the other question that about the money was about uh, I-134, okay. like how much money do they need? Uh, to have like in their past uh, tax return. Okay, um, so I think Laylee sent in the message, she sent the USCIS website regarding the I-864. There should be a spreadsheet attached in the instruction ask area of this form. Um, and there is a spreadsheet that lists the income requirement for these affidavits of support. It should be the same for both, oh. but you can also okay. you can also Google USCIS I-134. All right, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I have one last question. So should they go to Pakistan if they can before they're applying for humanitarian parole or should they do it after the first approval is arrived? Um, that it, it really, I think it, I think I would say just to leave first because my, my instinct would be to get them to safety first and foremost. Um, so if they can go as soon as possible, I would just recommend to go as soon as possible. Okay, all right, thank you so much. Hi, I would. All right, thank you, Nasir. Uh, Basit, next question, please. Uh, the next person is Rika Nurzai, and I have uh, uh, allowed you to talk. You can unmute yourself now. Rika, uh, you're still on mute. I was an missionary. Rika Nurzai. Nuzam, the mute has I was an missionary. Salam. Welcome, Salam. Welcome. Uh, as Rukhair, I'm um, Dwaram Hamagish Masat Man, but I'm Rika Nurzai. I'm as a Kaz Majorin, who has solid to Hazor Hifdom, Adam Hamroy Esoi Visa. اما دو تا از بچه های ما به افغانستان ماندن یکی بالای سن و بیستی یک بود پسرم که برای او در سال 2019 فرم 130 رو خانه پوری کردم و سه روز قبل کبیر لنبر برای گرفتم نمیفهم چند وقت دیگه باید منتظر ویزا بمانم و دیگری دختر ما است که او متحل او زمانی که من میادم او بالای بیستی یک نبود ولی او ازدواج کرده بود در فرم دو سد و شست اسم و مشخصات هست ولی چون ملتحل بود شامل کیس من نشد و حال به خاطر از این که من خطر خیلی تعدید شدید داشتم و من پیش شیش ما پیش از این که بیایم از کار خود استفاده داده بودم به خانه شیشته بودم در حال که ویزی من به دستم بود و من مشکلات خانوادگی داشتم ولی وقتی آمدم من به هرات زندگی میکردم اونا رو به کابل انتقال دادم چون کسی اونا رو شناسایی نکنه چی رقم میتونم برای دختر خود کیسی اپلای کنم از چی طریق میتونم و من این تعم خوبی هم سال گذشته داشتم چی رقم میتونم اونا رو اسپانسر کنم از چی طریق میتونم اپلای کنم برای او که به تانه بیایه Wise, Masood, which one? Shakar, uh, uh, thank you. 
Uh, I have, uh, I, I migrated to uh, uh, US in 2017 through uh, SIV, but I was not able to bring uh, two uh, children who are uh, above the age of uh, the requirement. And also uh, I applied to them for visa. So I got their KBL and I don't know how long it will take uh, for them to uh, get their visa. Furthermore, my daughter, uh, whose uh, name is also in my form when I applied for SIV uh, as a family member, uh, I was not able to bring her as well uh, because she uh, had, she got married uh, before my, my case. Uh, so I was not able to add, uh, add her name, uh, couldn't get uh, her to the US. So uh, please help me how I can bring my married children, that married a daughter and two sons uh, who has KBLs. Thank you. And also uh, she emphasized about her, uh, uh, their the children's life in danger in Afghanistan. Thank you. Mona, Lily. I think I think um, I think that Mona had a prior um, obligation as and has had to step away. Um, though I'm not absolutely sure she had told me about this um, before uh, our meeting. So um, apologies um, for the fact that that I'm going to um, do my best to provide some answer, with the understanding that um, I do not specialize in immigration law, but um, from what I'm understanding, we have um, family members in Afghanistan who, based on the information that we have received right now, um, may not qualify for um, special programs. Um, I am not aware of any programs, and this is a good question to look into. I'm not directly aware of any questions that kind of go back and revisit, you know, for example, um, this. Um, person who herself arrived on SIV and wasn't able to bring um, her children over because of um, age and uh, marriage um, the circumstances. Uh, so should I pause here while you um, translate or should I continue? You can continue, please. So okay. Let me okay. So based on what I'm hearing now, and, and I really should say, and this is, I think, what, something that Mona has been diligently saying, is that often there's a lot more information that needs to be revealed before a fuller and more detailed answer can be given. And um, so therefore, please do not take anything that we are saying here as advice that is specific to your particular set of facts, because um, that would be um, a big mistake for you. You know, it may be that we have, after an interview with you, would learn facts that make your situation indeed brighter and more hopeful. Um, but um, from what I'm hearing, humanitarian parole would be the option to pursue for this family. Thank you. Tashakar Khorjan, Shuma, Dabari, Auladay, Tansubat, Gardin, Kanatan, Stenaorda, Wa Muna, Kaske, Daribak, Shwaret, Boot, Ekar, Paido, Karda, Kermakum, Kablan, Guftabut, Wa Felan, رفته جواب داده نمیتونه و سوال های ما فعلا و نظر لیلی جان خانم لیلی هی است که ما واقعا زیاد معلومات ندارم لطفا صحبت های مرا یا پیام مرا مثل یک ادوایس یا رانمایی نگیرین شما میتونین که به نظر ما وضعیت شما را بررسی کردیم بررسی کردیم و نظر به می مشکلات که شما گفتین اولادای تان آورده نتونستین و دو بچه تان و یک دختر تان به خاطر آرسی شان و دو بچه تان به خاطر سن شان به نظر از یا میتونین شما humanitarian پرول خانه پوری بکنین 
تا باشه که کمکتان بکنه و زیادتر به دری بخش جزیات بیشتر به کار است که تا خانم لیلی شما را درست تر ادوائز بکنه تشکر سوال دیگه ما اگه فرصت داشته باشم میبخشین سوالی که ما گفتم ما سال گذشته ما و شوهر ما این کم ما حدود شست هزار شده بود شست و دو هزار و میتونم بچه هایم چون واقعا ما کیس ارجنت دارم واقعا صد چی رقم میتونم مال در پابلیک بگم یا نه کیس ما خیلی شدید واقعا ما کسی بودم که گفتم در حال که ویزه در دست داشتم و باز هم شیش ما به خانه ما پشت در بسته شیشته بودم چون ما اختاری در خانه خود داشتم وقتی زمانی که می آمدم بچه های خود از ولایتی که زندگی می کردم به یک ولایت دیگه اونا رو حمل نقل دادم که اونا رو کسی نشناسه حتی از طرف فامیلای های خود خود چون من یک زن بودم متعلق به قیم پشتون بودم و همراه آمریکایی ها کار می کردم و دوید چهارده سال یک تعدید فامیلی هم قیمی هم داشتم علاوه بسی که تعدید های دیگه داشتم و حالی هم بچه های طوری که من از اینجی هر چی کار میکنم ماهوار من برای اینا مصرفی اینا میفرستم بخاطر از اینکه اونا بیرون شده از خانه نمیتونن و شوهر دخترم یک کیس سیاسی داشت او در سال 2016 آمریکا هم آمد من حیثیت کسی که به پست خوبی کار میکرد و اینجی اون دعوت کرده بودم آمد و سر وقتم رفت هیچ تقاضای پناهندگی نکرد چون ما زندگی خوبی داشتیم بابت ولی حال که از شرایط به من خیلی فرق کرده من میتونم آیا اسپانسر از اونا بروشم من یک پسر دارم که بالای سن بود برای از او اپلای فرم 130 رو کردم که بیل گرفتم دو یا سه روز پیش اما دختر من همراه دو اولاد خوش و هر رو اونا برای من یعنی من هر دم درد سر دارم شب و روز خود نمیفهمم آیا میتونم من اسپانسر از اونا بروشم و میتونم بروشم از چی طریق میتونم برای از اونا اپلای کنم فعلا اونا رو بکشم و بیارم بعد راه های بعدی رو شاید خدا مرد کمک کنه و کسایی باشه که مرد کمک کنه که چی رقم برای اونا یا وضعیت وطن بهتر ازی بشه اجازه من میتونم به فارسی جواب بدم ببینین من تا اونجایی که متوجه شرایط شما شدم بسیار سوال خوبی میکنین و من قبلا هم اینو گفتم اینی که آیا راه دیگه هست یا و یا راه دیگه ایجاد خواهد شد برای اشخاصی مثل شما که اصطوری هستن و در آمریکا هستن و به خاطر کاری که شما داشتین و شغل و نقشی که در افغانستان داشتین الان اعضای خانواده شما اعضای نزدیک خانواده شما در خطر هستن این یه سوال خوبیه که باید ما در جاهای دیگه پیش بیاریم ولی فکر می کنم که الان شاید سریع ترین راه شما تا اونجایی که من می دونم این همون humanitarian parole هست و موقعی که این از این راه موفق شدید وقتی که بچه های شما انشالله به شما ملحق شدن و شما دوباره با هم هستین اون موقع میشه از راه های شاید سریع تری به خاطر این شاید کارت سبزی که و شاید هم سیتیزنشیپی که شما داشته باشید بشه بهشون زودتر برای اونا کاری بکنیم که بتونن در, در این مملکت بیشتر از یک سال یا دو سال, دو سال بمونن یه چیز دیگه که میخواستم به همگی بگم اینه که الان Humanitarian Parole برای دو ساله امیدوارم که همگی اینو بدونید که قبلا یک سال بوده و ولی الان برای افغان ها کردن دو سال اینه که کسی که با Humanitarian Parole وارد امریکا میشه دو سال مهلت داره که از راه دیگه برای خودش پیدا بکنه لیلی جان اگه یک سال دیگه هم از شما بکنم آیا یک مؤسسه یا یک ارگانی هست که بتانه کمک کنه که چیطور اپلای کنم شاید برای من خود من رقم مستقیما اگر از طرف کدام مؤسسه مثل IRC یا جای دیگه اپلای کنم شاید کیس هم زودتر پیش بره و تا جایی که من انفرادی کار بکنم شاید نمفهم شما میتونیم من معرفی کنیم به جایی که بتانم از این طریق اپلای کنم بله بله میتونم میتونم من الان اجه شما ملحق بدین نفر بعدی سوالش رو بپرسه من یه لینک اینجا توی چپ میذارم درسته خوربان شما تشکر خواهش میکنم 
Tashakur, Rekajan. Um, Arwa, can you hear me? Arwa? Okay, so if, okay. What was the question? Yeah, um, so is there a way to, we have a lot of questions and and, and chat and Q&A. Um, is there a way to just uh, save that? Um, so that way we could try to get back to, to, to everyone. I'll adjust the setting and see if we can do it while through the meeting. We'll see. Okay. Thank you. And then in, in the meantime, Weiss and Basit and Masood, please, please just their questions directly to us with very specific information and then general questions. Just make sure you capture all of them, please. Weiss, go ahead. Uh, is it okay if I and Masood read all the questions uh, clearly in Farsi? And then we can, maybe there is many question be same question. Then in one time we answer all this question as much as possible. Yeah, go ahead amongst yourself. If there are questions that you see are the same, then you could ask those um, in between while we're calling on people. That's no problem. Does that? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So while you do that, I'm gonna call on the next person. Um, I know we do have. Oh, only five minutes left. <laughs> um, so, uh, Basit? Okay. Uh, actually, there was a question that a lot of people asked. It was like regarding financial support for the applications. I think Mona mentioned something about um, like having a family member who's a U.S. citizen that can pay for that. Is that, is that I don't know if um, Lely can confirm that? So... Financial support has two aspects to it. Um, the first aspect is the applicant, the person who's filling out the application for, for example, a family member, uh, there's that affidavit of support. Um, if not, they can get um, a financial sponsor. You know, So there are two pathways for that. Um, and that financial sp sponsor can be another individual. It can be a company. You know, uh, there's, there are options there. I don't know if that answers the question as fully um, as necessary. Thank you. And I guess we'll do our best to put it on our website, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Weiss and Masood, if there are any questions that are in, just being asked a lot and you and see that, please. There's many questions, but uh, some of the questions uh, uh, they ask, I need to talk. And the other question was how I can uh, ask my mother fast to move to US. Uh, so the other question was, what is different between P2 and SIB? Uh, okay, let's go with that first. Yeah. Lily, do you, are you able to respond to that? Um, yes, I can give a general response. So SIV or um, Special Immigrant Visa is a visa that applies for individuals who worked for at least a year for the United States government. P oh. Does that go ahead? Uh, mega is a has a la has a car Should I continue? Yes. P2 um, is similar um, in that it is a program for people who worked for, for example, NGOs, non governmental organizations you know, um, and related programs in Afghanistan. Uh, what is important to note and to note about these programs is that you can go and apply for it. It's a referral program, uh, meaning that the organization that employed you um, needs to refer you for that. Um, for example, earlier tonight, we had a question um, where uh, one of the uh, community members said that this all happened so fast that they weren't able to get those letters. That's why she was talking about that, because those letters would be the letters that they would use in order to qualify for these programs. خب میگه ویزی پی تو کنی متفاوتر هزه سایبی هست که اینا هم کار کردن ولی از طریق مرجی دومی رجعت داده میشن و یا ریفر میشن برای پروگرام. Okay, thank you. Um, Basit, do we have more people with hands up? Yeah, we, uh, have, many like, do we have 
we have eight hands up, so I can I can un I can unmute the next person if you. Uh, Basit, you... Would you like to uh, unmute uh, Fatma, Bibi Fatma? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She so said before... no one answered my question. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Before we do that, let me just uh, out of respect for Lily's time, it is eight o'clock. Um, just want to check on your time in terms of how long you could stay. Uh, why don't we continue for a few more questions? Okay. And I will do my best to answer them. If people are Thank staying to hear from me, then and I, I will do my best to be here. Thank you, Lily. Um, all right, Bibi, go ahead. Hello. Bali Salam. Walaikum Salam. Ma Fatma Salam, Askalpunya. Hope do Saval Bashtam. سوال اولش ای است که ما تقریبا چهار سال میشه که ما در امریکا هستم و فامیلم در افغانستان است پدرجان ما در پولیس کار میکرده و سه روز پیش از طرف طالبا برش یک اختاری آمده و اونا آدرس ایناش پیدا کردن سو so, اله پدرجان هم پتسته و خانه دوستا میره حتی موبایلشان خاموش کردن و ما سه روز را که هم را هیچ کس گپ نزدیم از فامیلا اولشان هم میگیرم که خوب هستن اما نمیتونم رای خود چون گپ بزنم ما کار میکنم میشه که به ما یک رای حل را نشان بتین که ما از کدام طریق میتونم اونا را کمک بکنم کدام فرم باید خانه پوری کنم تا که بتونم اونا را بیارم اینجا و سوال دوم هی هستن که یازنیم خواهرم اینجا است و یازنیم در افغانستان است کل کیسش پوره شده و تنها مانده بود که بر انتریو باشم و وقت انتریو نامده so برشان زیاد ایمیل اینا کردیم و یک چند روز پیش برشان یک ایمیل آمده بود که میتونه بیایه و برش یک ویزا آمده بوده ویزیش آل پس اکسپایر شد که به مدت چند روز در سیف هاوز آن بوده و از اونجا اونا را پس کشیدن اگر به زحمت نمیشین میشه که سوال ما را جواب بدین و تشکر یک جهان از این که به ما وقت دادین I want to make sure that I understood the question. Um, I'm going to start with the last part of the question. Um, it sounds like documents had arrived for her sister, that her visa had been cleared or that she was um, cleared to go for an interview, but wasn't able to get there in time. And so that time has expired. Is that correct? Exactly. Okay. Yes. ببینید و علتی که خواهر شما نرسیدن به این انترویشون علت همین فاجعه که الان اونجا قرار گرفته بله بله من فکر می کنم که خواهر شما اگه بتونه خودشو به یک مسئله به پاکستان یا مملکت دیگه برسونه این مسئله نخواهد بود آتشکاز و سوال دوم سوال اولتون خانم خیلی ممنگیز سره در حقیقت برای اینکه اگر من درست میفهمم فهمم این میگین که پدرتون اونجا در خطر هستند قایم شدند و تا اونجایی که از شما شنیدم فکر می کنم تنها راه حل ایشان همون هیمانیتارین پروله که امشب خیلی صحبتش بوده ولی همون جوری که قبلا هم گفتم این یه سوال ای ببخشید یک جواب کلیه به خاطر اینکه من تمام جزئیات پرونده شما رو ندارم ولی به احتمال زیاد این هست خب میتونم که مثلا امو تمام استوری که هست در ممرای شما شیر بسازم و اما مداره که که از پدر جانم هست که کار کده و امو که از طرف طالبا بشان تدید شده به شما روان کنم یعنی یک رای حل وجود داره امکان داره که امو تاری یک چیز مثل به شما روان کنم یعنی خیر ببینید شما گفتین که پدرتون کار کردن برای دولت امریکا و یا نه خیر پدرم به دولت امریکا کار نکردن به دولت خود افغانستان کار کردن در بخش نظامیش بله آها ببینید من یه لینک من دو تا لینک 
وقت گذاشتم اگه ممکنه که شاید محسود خان یا خوشان جان اینا رو ببینه یکی دین که خود ماست ما انتیک یکی عمال پارس ایکوالیتیه که اون اونا سعی میکنن که اشخاصی مثل شما رو با وکیل داوطلب آشنا بکنه که به شما کمک بکنن در این مورد این شاید فکر بدی نباشه برای شما به خاطر اینکه ما الان داریم تلاش میکنیم که یک پروگرامی خودمون ایجاد بکنیم که بتونیم به اهالی جامعه خودمون در این ناحیه برسیم ولی الان در حال حاضر آمادگی این کار رو نداریم تشکر و سوال دیگه هی بوده که آیا امکان شسته که مثلا ما بتونم در امیتیم بپیوندم و امرای شما کار بکنم چون که افغانستان در وضعی است که هر کس می خواهد می فهم که مجانی باشه یا به هر طریق باشه بتونیم از وطن خود و از مردم که اونجا هیچ کس را ندارن که صدایشون را بلند کنن و ما اقلا یک چی باشیم که بتونیم صدایشون را بلند کنیم و بتونیم کمی از دردهایشون را کم کنیم و باعث کمک به با آنها شدیم فاطمه جان تشکری سوال بسیار مهم است و امیال میخلتر اونا که در کانتی از در کالیفورنیا یک جای کار میکنیم که روز اونا را پیش ببارن و سپورت بیافن سو دمی شما اگر انترسی دیستی امی ایمیل ما بسه در مسود کنی پا در ایمیل این چات بر ما ایمیل پا باز ما شما را خود تانه در امرای امیزی گروپ کنکت میکنم که باز سوی که بی پارده دیس گروپ آت شکر و بزحمت نمیشین امون لنکه که خانم گفتن که من میتونم بختار پدر جانم شان اپلای بکنم امورم با مرمان کنین لیلی ویچ لنک دیجو ریفرنس فر هر فادر اسکنگ ابوت یومنیتریان ای جس ترابت این اگر Okay. Yeah, thank you for everyone. You're welcome. That's good. Okay. All right. Um, so, Lily, maybe two more questions? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. That's it. Okay. Next two questions and then we'll stop. Okay. So the next person is Sahar Ahmadi. So I'm allowing you to talk now. You can unmute yourself. Sahar. Hello? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Sahar. Hi, uh, my name is Sahar. Uh, yeah, so um, I came from Kabul, Afghanistan on August 24th. And um, I was trying to bring my husband with me, but unfortunately, through the gate that I came because I was US citizen, they didn't let my husband to come with me. And the reason I went to Afghanistan is because I got married on August 2nd. And to be honest, I don't know what to do. Um, should I apply for my husband through um, P2 or P1 or it's a humanitarian peril or any other uh, form that I should apply for him because um, I just, I'm trying to bring him as soon as possible, but I just wanted to get more information from you guys. Um, Sahar, let me tell you what I think I understand. You are a U.S. citizen and you yes. recently married an, an Afghan national? Yes. Right. And, and um, first of all, I'm, I'm glad that you were able to um, come to safety. Thank and you. Um, I understand your well-founded concerns for your husband. I um, understand that you're saying, should I apply through humanitarian parole or P2? Would your husband qualify for P2? Um, no, he's a dentist there, so he didn't okay. work with US uh, troops, but right. I want to know um, what is the best thing I can do to bring him in. Well, okay, I, this is really um, actually a very kind of bread and butter immigration question, um, mm -hmm. which means that I am even less qualified to answer it than I am, um, you know, about sort of these special... Okay. So how, uh, I have to think that there is a much better, a much better pathway. Sorry, go ahead. 
Uh, Lily, you got cut off. So if you could, you said uh, that oh. you were qualified to answer this question, you got cut off. Oh, oh, I was sorry. I um, what I want to say is that there has to be a better answer um, than than those for you, uh, for your husband, uh, because of your status and because of the fact that you are married, um, and that that is something that uh, we should consult. Uh, I also put our intake in in the chat here, and I will try to drop it again. Um, I encourage you to fill that out. Um, one second, please. Here it is. Um, okay. Also, um, I have mm -hmm. a question. So I was not able to finish my marriage certificate because everything is closed back in Afghanistan. So um, I was not able to register it and translate, but I have the actual NECA hat that they call it uh, back in Afghanistan. So I don't know, should I uh, still translate what I have or uh, the evidence of the pictures that I have or my uh, wedding videos will be enough? I mean, the more the better, you know? <laughs> I, 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 I think that whenever we're sort of trying to get around um, the fact that maybe we don't have the ideal documentation, then we try to supply as much surrounding documentation as we can. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sahar, uh, Lely put the link for the form. Um, if you want to click on that, that way you could fill it out and then um, you can meet with a care uh, lawyer directly. Is that correct, Lely? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good luck. Um, okay. So our last question, Ambassad, if you could please uh, call on the next person. Okay. The last person is... Um... Surya Khalil. So I'm going to allow you to talk now. Please unmute yourself. Hi, uh, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. Yeah, so. hi. So I have a few questions. Uh, the first question is regarding my sister. So they're in Afghanistan and I petitioned her in 2019. I'm a US citizen uh, and her case got approved a week ago. So I was wondering if there is a way to um, expedite her case. Uh, so she already has the KBL number. For, uh, so her case is in, in NVC, but they are saying it's going to take a lot of time. So I was wondering if there's a faster way to bring her here. And my other question is um, about humanitarian parole. So what would happen if, if I petition my uh, family and they come to U.S.? Uh, and that's going to be valid for just one year. So what's going to happen after that? Um, how can they get green card? And my third question is, so for getting refugee status or getting a referral from UNHCR, uh, do, you have, do they have to go to the third country or they can get it in Afghanistan? Okay. Let's go with one question at a time. So <laughs> we'll try to answer all the time. Okay, um, let me see. Your first question was, <laughs> was that about your sister whose um, visa has been approved? Uh, yeah, not visa, but her I-130 got approved. One of okay. okay, and it's at the National Visa Center. Yes. Uh, that's a good question. I, I, I would tend to think that for somebody like your sister, uh, is she able to get to another country? Um, I'm not sure right now because of the, everything is closed, border, and borders are closed, but right. is there a way that if, if, if she goes to another country, is there a way that she can come faster? Well, I just, I don't, there's not a sort of like, right now, there's so many things that are different about what is happening. So I think that for, for example, usually if you think about how USCIS operates and the level of documentation that they require, you know, for things, this, you know, in this, in this particular situation, I, I'm hearing different things. So I think that for your sister, for example, if she, is she safe where she is? Are you, are you sort of um, urgently concerned for her safety right now? Yes, I am. Um, well, in that, that case, um, if, if she, I would think, I would think that for people like her, and of course, it's very easy to sit here and say that if they are able to get to another country, then, then that is already, you know, an improvement on that situation, you know, especially if she has somebody, you know, like a sister like yourself over here who can make assistance from the United States. Um, 
and at that point, you know, to visit the consulate um, in whatever country she's at to, to present, you know, proof of the, the approval of her, um, you know, her, the papers that you submitted for her. And, um, you know, at that point, sir, I, I would suggest sub submitting additional information about the, the um, threat to her life in Afghanistan and why she couldn't wait for um, th that processing to continue. Okay, I missed the part. Uh, you said something. I missed that part because uh, you, uh, your connection broke. I'm so sorry. I don't know why. I'm going to turn off my video. Um, I think that what I was trying to say, Surya, in a, in a nutshell, is that if your sister can safely get to another country, uh, then then that might be a good idea. And that if she's able to present the documentation that shows that her paperwork is very far along in the process, that um, maybe they will expedite it there. Okay. Is she like? Is she, for example, if she go to Pakistan, is she able to go to their embassy and um, show them the papers and everything? Or I, don't see, I don't see why not. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And you had you had other questions too. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So my question, uh, another question, was about humanitarian parole. So if when uh, a family comes to United States and that's validate their their stay here is validated for one year. So what's going to happen after that when their stay finishes? So um, I said this earlier as well, and I really want people to hear this: that right now it's not one year; it's two years. Okay. Um, okay. And, and once you're here um, on humanitarian parole, there are different pathways, for example, asylum. Um, and, you know, I don't even know all of them because I'm not an immigration attorney, but certainly I think asylum is probably the, the sort of most often used uh, pathway towards staying here, especially when you're fleeing the Taliban. And my last question was uh, for getting refugee status or getting referral from UNHCR. So do uh, they have to go to a third country? I'm not sure about that. That is my understanding, um, but I, I, I'm not giving you that definitive answer, but that is a, um, I think if you go to a website called IRAP, I-R-A-P, um, yeah. you, you will find the answers to your questions there. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Sarajan. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and conclude um, at this point. Thank. I just wanna go ahead and just thank um, Reda and uh, Dr. Mira Khattab and Care, Bassam, Leili and Mona for um, being here and for all your time and support. Inshallah, we will um, be working very closely together to um, provide, provide you more support. And I know there are many, many questions we were not able to answer tonight. And I, I do apologize for that. We're, we're trying very hard to not only um, get more lawyers uh, to be present with us um, and figure out other ways uh, through which we can uh, provide you support. And so we'll be working together um, closely and then communicating with you just tonight. If you have uh, connected to us, we'll make sure that you are in our mailing list so you can get this information as we uh, try to provide you more lawyers and more support and inshallah get to this together. Um, other than that, if I just wanna check and see if uh, Basam, Leili, if you have any last few things to say and then we could go ahead and conclude for tonight. Let's say um, Leili posted um... Um, she posted the link for the immigration intake. And so if, if folks have additional questions or some of the questions that didn't get, didn't get answered, uh, feel free to go to that intake form and um, our attorneys will um, help answer those questions. Lily, do you have anything else you wanna say? No, thank you very much for convening this gathering and um, we look forward to more conversations. We understand that, that um, we fall far short in our ability to give sorry for that.
Thank you. I, I wanted to add uh, just that we have offices um, uh, all around the country. I know folks called in from everywhere, um, but we, we do have offices all around the country. Um, some of the offices do have immigrant rights centers and immigration services. Um, so feel free to reach out to us and we can uh, connect you with your, with your local office as well. Thank you, Bassam. Um, okay, so thank you everyone uh, uh, for attending. And I just wanna thank um, uh, Care and Reda again, um, as well as my staff um, for being here. And thank you to each of you for taking your time. Um, like I said already, and I'm gonna read it one more time, we're working very, very hard to just get as many resources, many lawyers, working with all the government entities um, to really try to support the Afghan community. So please have patience with us as we work through this. Um, I feel horrible that there are many, many questions that were posted and we're not able to answer, but I promise you that um, here, myself, Reda, we're working extremely, extremely hard to try to have more resources available for you. Uh, and we'll figure out a way where at least you can ask um, questions to many lawyers at the same time. Inshallah, one of the things I'm just thinking about doing next would be uh, possibly either having um, many lawyers present and then having you break out into rooms and ask your questions there. So tonight we had about 80 or 85 and we could just divide that up into five or six groups with different lawyers or another thing we could possibly do is see if the lawyers are present to um, take your calls on a daily basis. Uh, again, these are just some ideas. Um, we're gonna try very hard to see if we can get you at least lawyers that you can ask questions to and you don't have to wait two hours. So again, my apologies uh, for not being able to answer all your questions, but um, we will have, we definitely will have more resources uh, available for you soon. So with that, um, have a wonderful e evening and uh, khudafis. <laughs> So it's that.